I'll never get out of here. I'll never get out of here. I don't think I'll ever get out of here safely because of all these butthole drivers. And because of my allergies, it's a little sucky today. The allergies. These guys are looking dark. Hello, Shimei. How are you? First in the gate today. A lot of fun to put those lights on. I don't know if we're going to get a chance to use them. It's supposed to start raining any moment. I don't know. Hello, Slugbo Gypsy. What's up? How you doing, Tom? I'm doing all right. Hello, Adam. How are you? Get my uh, coffee. Just a quick... Uh... Hello. How is everybody? He's in red. I got a little wind burn right Unbelievably. All right. I shall return. The Mekong Delta Sand looks pretty good, huh? Hello, Noreen. I just got done watching the video and putting the lights on. That's going to be really cool, yeah. It's going to be cool. I don't know if we're going to be able to test it, though. Hello, flip-flops, Cass, because uh, the rain situation. Hello, Jamie. It's a blustery day. It's a blustery day. Hello, Red Road Runner. Road Runner. I'm gonna have to put these pants in. Washing machine. Let's Cali Mo. How are you, Nino? How are you doing? I am back. Yes, I am. Rain and more rain and more rain and more rain. Hello, Elmer. Uh, it was a lot of. Thank you to those of you, yes, the thumbs up or appreciate it. Thank you to those of you who were on the, um, did a rare afternoon stream on the Rosie Murphy channel because, well, because I had some time today and I could. Hello, Diane, how are you? And I did answer your question. I did see your comment and answer it on the live stream. Hello, Emmy. I said it might be dangerous if you haven't ridden in 15 years. To be on the promenade at Venice Beach, it's a little, it's a little sketch down there to do that. So, and hope everybody's doing well. Hello, Charla, how are you? Nice to see you. Uh, uh, now my eyes are puffy, a little bit red because of allergy season and all this crap blowing around the air today. 
came early this year. Yeah, why don't you drink it the right way here? And there's really nothing going on up here today. Oh, I got to get some of those peach butt pants, I'm telling you. Got to get some of them. I'm here too. Hey, Cindy, Venice Beach Boardwalk. And, uh, yeah, so if you haven't ridden a bike in 15 years, you might be a little shaky on that path. And, well, you know, you might hit somebody or something. So, hey, Noreen, because you got people that are roller blading and really whizzing along on those that path. I've been there many, 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 many times. Can't wait to see the lights at night at the ranch, uh, bike lights. I'm hoping, hey Angie, I don't know, you know, it's looking a little sketch out here. It's supposed to have rain tonight starting in, so, I mean, I think we're all psyched up. Now, I always kept playing with the lights that Sh uh, Shemay sent me two sets of lights, and if you guys don't know what I'm talking about, uh, package came late last week from Chimay. It was two sets of bike lights. There was um, there was a spoke set that goes all the way around both wheels. And we threaded that on today and that did great. The, the morning tour the morning's tour of the underwear drawer wasn't for me. Well, I don't know quite what the hell that means, but okay, you know I did the Rancho I don't know what the hell I did. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I did the uh, overnighter with the, uh, not the overnighter, but, um, hey, Sherry, the visit to Easter with the boss, boss and, uh, and, uh, Janet. Um, but one set goes around the spokes of each wheel, and it went on very well. It didn't have any issues. It had to be done carefully. It was very, uh, I'll send everybody. I'll see you coming. That's for sure. Be careful. You're riding that. Yes, of course. And then the second one, I didn't really understand. I kept pushing a button, but the thing is an automatic, meaning until the bike actually goes in motion, then it's not going to light, believe it or not. So you start to move the bike and it lights, which is pretty wild. So let's change here. We had, I also had a creeper following me today. Every time I would turn around, the creeper was there. So finally had to, finally had to ditch the creeper. Did that today. Yeah, the riding in the rain. If it's not required, I mean, uh, we'll just have to see when the rain begins relative to the. The lights, you know, so we can uh, check it out. So I, I did. I looked at it again later. It's like, oh man, this these other lights, these spoke lights, they come on automatically as you pedal. It's like a low life city around here. Yeah, thank you, Contrasty. That was a great time last night. That was, uh, I was so glad I was able to put that together instead of waiting a day. And, uh, man, I was up super late, but it was nice. How are you doing over there, dude? Oh, well, thank you. You sent the phone mounts. Wow. I guess you saw me struggle today. Thank you, Shemay. Wow. Those coolers, I'm still gobsmacked. I'm still in awe at those phone coolers. They actually, you know, you plug that into your battery pack, which is not an issue, and then you can run your battery pack, at least a tiny one, into the phone. You can run both, and uh, it's really amazing because that thing gets ice cold in the back. I don't know how they do it electronically. I got no idea, but it's pretty freaking amazing, and I really want to understand how that technology uh, works. So thank you, Shemay. Thank you. The problem I have with phone mats is the ones that don't really uh, do well, like the one Bird has. They block too much of the uh, uh, phone on the opposite side, where I use the cameras on the uh, front. I use both sets of cameras, so it's important to me that they go. Aganitis from Pello. Hang it, bro. That's nice. Nothing wrong with that on a Monday. I'm looking forward to my beer. 
I'm back on the keto again today. I had a half a cup of oatmeal today. A couple slices of deli turkey, sliced turkey. I am back in the saddle again. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Shemay. That's awesome. You're very sweet. I can practice riding a bike, yes. It's going to take more than a little time in a practice area to ride a bike. Now, you're going into the big leagues of bike riding when you get down to Venice Beach and you're on those little sidewinder trails. You got skateboarders and rollerbladers. And you got any kind of wobble, you're going to be a goner. Lola's Market. have a chill night tonight. I don't really know much that's going on today. Pretty much same old, same old in the Ukraine. The story's starting to get a little old, sadly. That's what always happens. Trying to keep that in hearts and minds of people is very difficult. So... former skateboarder. You couldn't even pay me to be on a skateboard. The most I ever did was take roller skates and nail them to a f separate the roller skates and put one set of wheels on the front of the 2x4 and another behind. How about that? That's my claim to fame. Man, we made skateboards before they were even a thing. Before anybody ever dreamed of a skateboard. We had a piece of wood with a half a skate on the front and half a skate on the back. And I know we weren't the only ones in the world that did that. Right? Stop that thought. It reminds me. I'm low magenta. Yeah, I got I just got a little bit more to go. I don't want to hit that son of a bitch. Let's move over here. No, I just it's I don't even consider it dieting. I consider it more a change of eating regimen is what I consider it. You know, it's a, it's a change in the way I just eat, period. You couldn't pay me to be on a skateboard. It's just too many knuckleheads. My skateboard had steel wheels. Yeah, I haven't had the same damn one. The neoprene came around. Shit. We had to take a, one roller skate take it apart at the middle and then uh, screw the skate on the front of the you know like a one foot one and a half foot board and then screw, screw the state or skate on the back of the board and man we were skateboarding okay rough ghetto rough skateboarding I mean they weren't neoprene wheels yeah, everything was metallic and ball bearing you could hear that stuff in the bearing races going around. When I was a teenager, we skateboarded when the waves blew out and we couldn't surf. Okay, that's cool. That's cool, Leo. That's good. I got nothing today, guys. But I'm going to have some chill each night. We have to pack up uh, the Easter stuff tonight. We have to carefully take that down. That's going to take some time. And then we'll have something that's sure to get the boss all peeved, another hack job chili, because I got the other half of that, uh, that uh, impossible meat I got to use. But once again, thank you to the boss and Janet. The uh, dinner was delicious. Uh, yesterday it was great to be with Bobby. It was great to be with Blackbird and Janet and the boss. It was a good time. Yeah, the long board. Yes, the long board. <laughs> The long board of doom. Yes, 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 yes. That was a really good time. So it's going to take a little time to get stuff put away um, this evening. But it's kind of unusual that we don't have anything going up. Thank you, Tony T. I appreciate that. It's kind of unusual. We don't really have any season. It's kind of a long stretch now until Memorial Day. And that's not something that I make light of. Uh, celebrating because as I was saying on the Rosie Murphy channel I think that's the most solemn of American uh, holidays is Memorial Day 
because it's the day where we go beyond people that served. We go to people who died in the line of service, and we need to remember those uh, people. So it's not a day for it's not a day for yuck yucks. I'm not sure with Bobby, but Blackbird's cool. Yeah, thank you, Judith. Yeah, Janice Tay will always look beautiful. Yeah, she's using her grandmother's uh, her grandmother's chinaware. And you want to talk about nervous when I'm using that? You want to talk about when I'm washing out at the sink? Her grandma's China. God knows where in uh, the Okies out in Oklahoma in the 1930s or something. Holy shit. <laughs> I think I'm nervous. I was learning to surf in my youth. Well, how did that turn out for you, Diane? Did you hit the pro circuit? Nice son in Germany. Nice. Good. Easter ham looked delicious. My mother had the same uh, Chinese. Really, Noreen? Yeah. Yeah, it made me nervous, you know. Uh, don't don't destroy that China. It's beautiful. What a gorgeous spread you had. And the tank looked nice, didn't it? Tank looked nice. I think it needs some more fish in there. It needs stuff that goes in the front, too. A lot of those fish like to hide out in a natural scape, you can imagine, back there. So you need you need fish that are like rosy fish. They're show-offs in the front, just swimming all the time. Look at me! Look at me! Yee-wee! Tomorrow's National Garlic Day. Are you going down to um, Gilroy, Tony, the garlic capital of uh, the world? Get on the board, get a bet. Wetsuit was fun. Honey, can you imagine me cramming my boobs into a wetsuit? Really? Yes, it's called Franciscan wear. Yeah, is that? Yeah, I don't know where it's from. I don't even know if it's made in this country, Noreen. I don't know. These are great rodeos. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dave. I appreciate that. I like to show off. Yeah, I like to see another rosy fish floating around in front. Yeah, look at me. I prefer the look of the black rock, but the white will bring out the colors. White did bring out the colors, and it's such a more natural scape. Who gets credit for I don't know. I guess they got that at Nations or something. Uh, no golfing tomorrow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I guess that was a Nations cheesecake. And... Uh, that's their own toppings they make. She gets her little uh, stick blender out and does that. I was skinny 107 when I wear. Honey, I, you think I could get this rack into a wetsuit? Are you kidding, kidding me? I would have been a nervous wreck with so much precious china. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Okay, Cindy, I hope you had a good one, honey. Howdy, Lambo. How are you? Greg wanted plenty for sale. <laughs> there you go, Noreen. It's the sentimental value. For her and also the chance to yell at me I think but I'm very careful see I think when you wash in China you put a rubber mat down in the bottom of the sink just in case it slips from your hand it won't chip and you only use that for your special dishes so because all my shit came from Dollar Tree I'm doing good Lambo I hope you're well too I knew you get your channel back hipster of course am I ever wrong I told you to get your channel. Twitter did the trick. You thank me later, honey. Huh? Bill's in the mail for you. Just forward it to your dad. <laughs> I'm so happy. Hipster got her channel. She never should have deserved it. This chick is a boss chick on uh, YouTube. Proud boy. I mean, give me a break, right? She didn't do a damn thing, right? Yeah, never wrong when it comes to channels. I'm just saying. You know, what the hell did you ever do wrong? Zero. You know what? People get taken out accidentally these days for no reason. Just throw that appeal in. That fails. You go to Twitter. Yeah, yeah. it took like two and a half months. You could have gotten it faster, I guess, if you swung by. But I made my first homemade carrot cake with starved dinner. Oh, nice. Sorry, Shemay. Moist. Amazingly moist. Dad made her skateboards in the 50s. Yes. Well, that's great, Catherine. I made my own, which might explain how I often busted my ass on my own little skateboard. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, Jan. Yeah, I see your Panama Canal vid came up. I want to check that. It's in my um, in my feed. And put their depression in a depression for years. Yeah, it'll happen. Well, I'm very happy, uh, hipster. You know, I love you, honey. You're such an institution around these parts. It just made me ill 
what scared me the most is <clears throat> what scared me the most is that you might just walk away and just say you know the hell with it I've been here like 16 years or whatever uh, I'm not sure if I'm going to go to the Boyd reunion or not uh, hipster probably not I would say I mean I've been doing my own thing this is the three year anniversary yeah thank you thank you thank you Lambo I appreciate it we'll see hello kitten cat Uh, uh, you know, I've been doing my own thing. You need wetsuit to surf here. L.A. is mostly... Honey, I know I'd need that. But I'm just saying, can you see me stuffing this body into a wetsuit? Really? Holy smokes. <laughs> I don't know. Right. Somebody help me zip up the top. Ooh, are you kidding, girl? And get all squashed down like I'm doing a two-hour mammogram or something. You know, I'm trying to get that sucker on. Cup of coffee. Yes, Garrett. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> Thank you, hipster. I know it's a little, it's a little too banging for a wetsuit. I'm just saying. You know, I mean, my days. Plus, you think about the shit that's out there in the ocean. Dun, 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 I'd be very damn careful. Very damn careful. Hold on a minute. Uh, hold on a minute. Let me send that. Okay. All right, I am back. A oh, well, big wetsuit. <laughs> <laughs> I got the coffee at 7 Eleven. Uh, so, to get my coffee at 7 Eleven, I just got some really good news today. Uh, I'm sick for a few days. I'm sorry, Cass. Was it urgent care? Oh, well. I'm sorry. I took 8 to 10 hours to get through the canal. Yeah, I think it's, it's not the first time you've been through, right, Jan? Uh, it's a very interesting proce process, I think, to go through the Panama Canal. I think that's pretty cool. And a cruise ship is the way to do it. But I'm just tickled pink today that uh, Hipster haven't got her channel back. I just love her. Hey, Jennifer. How are you? How are you doing? Good to see you. Oh, wow, you had a sea fever and a sign. Lockdown, Corona War, household food ways, three Corona died. You know, it's like, there's, I don't know, China does it the old school way, the harsh way of uh, zero COVID policy. So I, d I don't know how you tell a germ to stay confined. I don't know. The darling in the midway, what's up? Moose knuckle, yeah, when you have a lung infection, your lungs are going to be hurting. For sure, absolutely, positively, your lungs are going to be hurt. 46 degrees here and sunny. Yeah. Uh, eh. uh. Yeah. Thank you, Agnes. Kisses. I had a wonderful Easter. I missed you guys, of course being uh, down there but it did give me it did give me a chance to get to the editing very early last night and put together just likes to seek out ways to uh, be harmful and humane and tell the uh, they're coded well they just it's it's too big of a nation it's too big of a population to mess around okay the other time was halfway trip okay well that's cool you went the whole way alka seltzer really helped huh isn't that interesting? It Alka Seltzer. Good to see you, Icy. Huh. Plop plop fizz fizz. I haven't heard Alka Seltzer promoted for years, right? Plop plop fizz fizz. Oh what a relief it is. I can't believe I ate the whole thing. You ate it. Hmm. So tonight we definitely have some work to do. We've got some stuff to put away.
get stuff folded up. My cousin's husband in Carlsbad in the 60s and uh, still surfs mostly every day. Well, I don't know how he would drive that far from Carlsbad. That's a pretty good haul to the ocean there, one extreme to the next. My mom uses it for everything. Okay, well, huh. I haven't really heard of, uh, haven't really heard of that for a while. Alka-Seltzer with Speedy. Remember Speedy, the little hat with the Alka-Seltzer tablet? There's nobody around here tonight. Nobody. Hello, Santa Anna. I pushed some kids out of the way to get to get eggs. Good, good, Lambo. Excellent. How you doing? There she is. Hey, Tanya. How are you, sweetie? Good to see you. If you do only want to cruise the Panama Canal, is the one to pick. Okay, that's cool. Did they try to time it, uh, Jan? So you're coming through at daytime, or is it pick and choose? You don't know when you're going to be in the line to get through. The boss was really upset, upset over finances. Well, <laughs> you saw my little thing below. I tried to warn you. You know, <laughs> you never know, though. Things are crazy. Things are crazy. Scootering chumps. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I'm just trying to. That's unusual. I've never really heard anybody. Uh, I think Alka Seltzer was just supposed to. Put bubbles in to get you to belch, right? To relieve your gas in your stomach or something. Yeah, I hope you get better soon, Cass. Uh, just, I wasn't prepared for how early allergy season. Carlsbad is on the coast. No, it's a bit north. No, it's it's inland a bit. We get priority. They pay 300, which also gets divided between. Oh, okay. Yeah, they pay. Wow, can you imagine? Three hundred thousand dollars to go through the Panama Canal. Holy smokes! Yeah, well, I wasn't around, Nino, you know, last night. I was just getting. I use alcohol, alka seltzer, cold and flu. Excellent product. Well, I'm going to bear that in mind. I'm going to bear that in mind, contrasty. Just one of those things that doesn't pop into your mind. I'm so used to taking Tylenol or something. NyQuil knocked me out big time. Well, very little inland. Oh, I don't know. I think Carlsbad is... Well, anyway. I'm glad that he surfs every day. That's good. You always make me feel a little better. You're alive and I'm having... Oh, I'm sorry, sweetie. You having a bad day? I'm sorry. I slept till 4 p.m. the next day. Well, <laughs> that really knocked the hell out of you. I can't ever, I don't ever think I slept till 4 o'clock. I think the latest I might ever slept is about uh, 1, maybe 1 p.m. That's just, that is what the cruise ship pay, cargo ships pay 100000 Well, I guess that they, Brenda, thank you for your kindness. It's the Brenda Stewart is here. Honey, I've been so excited to see you to say thank you for your kindness on PayPal. It was so appreciated. I did not want to pass another day without saying thank you so much for your uh, wonderful, wonderful kindness. It was really, really and always appreciated. Thank you, sweetie. He's in his 60s and still runs, still surfs most every day. Well, I was out riding Spanky today getting it done. I felt just a little bit winded. I got like a little bit of wind burn, but it was fun until I had some creeper kind of following me. Uh, picked up a creeper over by where the homeless camp used to be and everywhere I went, this guy was right there. It was kind of weird. Kind of weird. Oh, when the good, other good news, I got my first paycheck on the new jobs today, so that was nice. 
Yeah, well, I'm going to get in better shape. You know, I, I, uh, well, no, I, I do want to thank you, Brenda. You're an amazing supporter um, and a damn cool person. And I'm very, I don't let things slip by. Uh, you, Shemay, Charlotte, there's so many people up and down, dying of their music and sending stuff. And I'm so appreciative for all of that. The level of support dropped so dramatically broadened out in. Um, in March and April, it's been wonderful. Yeah, it was kind of a scary weirdo, yeah. Well, I came out, picked him up then, I just I kept looking, and then he's like giving me a little, little kissy poo. And I think I said something like, get lost or something, and then I go down the end, and I turn right, and then he's following me, I go back the other way. He's down there again. Thank you, Lambo. $3 super sticker received. Thank you, my friend. Let's make sure that's going to fire off. Thank you. Yeah, it would take three weeks to go around, and not everybody wants to go around that Cape Horn either. So that's like the roughest weather in the world down there. Uh, it took the uh, bounty like weeks to try to get around Cape Horn, right? That was one of the problems that the crew was so spent from fighting the uh, fighting the gales and shit trying to get around Cape Horn that they were in no no shape to I'm gonna play the song. Lambo 86 okay. tipped three dollars through Super Chat. Thank you. Very kind. Thank you. Well, it was all right, Cass. I handle it. You know, I'm one to double back on the person and have a comment or two. I just told the guy at the end, stop following me. Oh, you missed last night? <laughs> well, we actually got back at 8 o'clock. And I thought, you know what? I'm not going to delay another day putting off editing this video. I got everything put away, cleaned up. I sat down at 8.30. And by about 10.30, that video was uploaded and ready to go, uh, scheduled to go live at 5 a.m. this morning. So I was glad that I put it out uh, then. So it kind of freed up my day. Uh, <clears throat> And now, because most of the projects have been done on the Rancho, we can actually take time to, um, I can actually take time to get st stuff like st Spanky out. You, didn't that barbecue cake look amazing? Wow. Wow. I mean, holy smokes. I, uh, I've made the coconut cake a lot of times, baking, bikini baking, and other stuff, and I don't think that they've turned out quite well. One turned out moist, but wow. Yeah, and if you miss, you end up in Antarctica, yeah. Well, that was a big part of the mutiny on the bounty, was the, the wicked times that, uh, you know, Captain Bly was an excellent navigator and stuff, but it took multiple tries and to get around Cape Horn, and his crew was just spent. Yeah, thank you, Moose Knuckle. The cake, uh, I can't tell you how good it tasted. Hey, Dave, if we could have sat down and shared that cake, oh, well, it's, I don't know. I mean, is there anything that you can't do in a barbecue grill? Pretty amazing. So, I still have to pull that and edit that to take that down to about 10 or 15 minutes to take the parts out of that. And then upload that as a separate video, how to make a uh, barbecue grill layer cake. Because that was interesting. That was, it's fun. It's very interesting to, um, I like pushing the envelope and trying new things that uh, you normally wouldn't do with those grills. But they're kind of ideal. Hey, Nikki. Oh, if you saw that one guy was following on the bike and he had his pull cart behind him, his wheels were like on an angle like that. Right. Going down the road. Right. <laughs> it was weird. 
You could teach Rachel Ray a few cooking tricks. I don't know if I could teach cooking trips because I don't think the average person would want to be a knucklehead like that. You can see the, uh, go back and look at uh, Saturday night's live stream Lambo. You don't have to worry about it. I'm going to condense that down to a 10 or 15 minute version and upload that so people get the, uh, people get the sense of it. So, wish I could just disappear. Well, that's interesting. Yeah, thank you. You got a great rack. I appreciate that, Swamp Pride. Thank you. Hey, Beatles Cure. How are you? How are you doing? What you, Rachel Ray is amazing. Yes, she is. She's of the Valerie Bertinelli mold. The Mustang Sally came to, from the song 60s is cute, yeah. Uh, Mustang Sally. I might barbecue this weekend. Yeah, I didn't expect the boss to start going off on his finances all of a sudden. Man, you know, and I kind of cut out the tirade because I was trying to figure out what's he talking about. Like, oh, you know, I'm down to 7%, now 15%, and, you know, what am I supposed to say, right? I mean, <laughs> should be rolling that shit into I-bonds, right? We're going to get the reset in about uh, 12 days. Close to 9% or thereabouts on that. It's going to be bar barbecue. Bar, we call it barbecue. Barbecue. Uh, I was singing Winchester. Winchester Cathedral. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. Oh, that's an old song. It's almost like back to Rudy Valley days or something. <laughs> I'm just a vagabond. Well, you call it BBQ? I call it barbecue. But I shorten it up for the title because you don't want to have to spell out barbecue. So you got to keep keep your titles as short as you can on uh, on YouTube. Preferably under 70 characters, including spaces on there. Winchester Cathedral. Da -na 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 -da 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 -da. Yeah, you saw her on TV the other day. She kind of beefed up a little bit. Yeah, Jamie, I'm going to do the hack job chili because I got the other half of the Impossible Burger. Hey, Brandon, how are you? Craft Beer Pours. Woo! Give Trish a big hug for me. My old frontier town gal. I never heard of a cake and grill before. How are you going to make this short video since it's not recorded on your phone? It's recorded on Prism. Everything. The boss's fish are doing good. Every live stream on prism is automatically re is automatically saved to my phone memory how about that so all i have to do and it loads up really quickly into the editor too and i can just do a voiceover on the whole thing right load it in kill the volume and just do boy just parse it together and explain so yeah, have that video of the cake. Yeah, so it's very... Prism is another nice thing. More chilly with no coleslaw. Right, I don't got time for that. Right. Tonight, Diane, I got to pack all the stuff away carefully so we have it for next Easter slash Passover uh, season. So, nothing wrong with a little chilly. Right, I got a doctor appointment at 9 a.m., Hey, John, how are you? Good to see you. And I'm going in for some evaluation. Good to see you, John. Could be cool, I see. What, yeah, Prism gives you that little extra benefit of being able to save your streams automatically. And then when I go... Hey, Timothy. Then when I go stick them into the editor... They don't take an hour to load in. They're already, boom, ready to go. And I just start hitting the edit button. Start doing the over-talking. There used to be a movie channel called Prism. I missed that. Hey, Mike Jordan, how are you? Good to see you. Um, just finished watching your Easter stream. Oh, well, thank you. Yeah. 
Oh, well, thank you, Swamp Pride. I appreciate that. All right. So the other benefit of Prism is that you can tie widgets into it, like this, like the song. So on Fridays and Sundays we have song nights, and you can also tie in the Streamlabs for the da 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 da. da you know, when somebody makes a donation. Uh, it, they get public acknowledgement, it comes up on it. So there's a lot of cool things that uh, Prism allows you to uh, do. So, And you can stream in 1080 if you want. Yeah, you can download all your videos. Well, if something exceptional happens on a live stream, you can take that and put it up as a separate video. I've done it a few times. Okay, Lambo, thank you. Good night. I know it does, Diane. I know it does, Diane. I know Passover lasts uh, quite a while, so. Yeah, it's good to be back again. There's my favorite reporter, Jessica Dean, reporting from Washington. Good evening, Dan. You should make chicken cordon bleu. I've made it before in Kitchen Stadium. Yep. Just put it in my search box and it'll come on. It'll come up. Chicken cordon bleu. Love the video from Easter. Well, thank you, Shark Baits. I've made chicken cordon bleu. It turned out wonderfully. I'm like Jesus now. I have risen. Right? Swamp pride. What does that mean? Like that? Or what are we talking about there? I haven't got room for the pain. I haven't liked your video. I have. No. Oh, well, thank you, Adam. I appreciate that. I enjoy seeing you. And uh, are you gradually remaking that house? I see you got Tyvek all over it. Uh, yes. Right. So is Easter, a very religious holiday. Jen, she definitely does a good job. She definitely does a good job. Yeah. Yeah, thank you, Nikki. I appreciate that. The good news, I've done so many videos over eight years that uh, eight almost, well, I don't know, in my ninth year now that I can bang them out pretty quickly. The Grand Central Market Blog was a classic you made. Yeah, I wish somebody would give a link for that because that had, I like taking real long shots. And that had the back of the lunch counter to Grand Central Market, which cinematic was one of my longest takes. These days, everybody's about jump cuts and quick and half-second bursts, and you hardly see what you're looking at. I like it when you can absorb the whole damn scene. So they have a very long lunch counter at the Grand Central Market down there. I mean, you 30, 50 people just in you start at one end and you go down and you're looking at the cooks behind doing their thing, the people at the counter behind, and you come around and swing around and the other way, yeah, I'd like, yeah, that's it, Timothy, yeah. That's real cinematography, just like the, uh, the uh, funiculum, funicular there, the angels, uh, whatever. I love doing uh, cinematic stuff. It's a lot of fun. And when I travel from town to town and place to place, cinematic will always be an aspect of that. So you get a flavor for the town. You get a, you get a flavor. Sometimes images convey much more than um, talking. I had coconut curry chicken for an early dinner. Nice. Am I fascinated with the Amish at all? Only in so far as they've managed to stay together. Oh, thank you, Moose Knuckle. Only in so far, the thing I admire about the Amish is the cohesiveness of the people, um, especially these days, trying to keep young people involved in a community where they're not going to be, you know, with TV and Internet and some electricity and all that kind of stuff. So, I, you know, it's... It's quite challenging, but I think it's cool if you ever watch the movie Witness with Harrison Ford when he he hides out with that Amish community and they have the barn raising. It's one of the most beautiful uh, cinematically produced things I've ever seen. 
you know, the golden grain waving in the field and them working, putting up the uh, barn, the barn raising and all that. Pretty amazing. So I'm, I'm fascinated by them. The Mennonites is another group. They're all through, like, Iowa. You know, you have the Amana, Amana colonies and places like that. So, uh, very interesting. I hope to spend some time in Iowa with the Herbert Hoover birthplace and uh, West Branch, Iowa. So, it's good. I mean, today I don't really have a lot on the agenda. There's really not much in the news. I just learned of another sect, I guess you call it. Known as the buyer, um, it's the men only wear one suspender rather than two like most. Now you wonder what that's rooted in, Mike Jordan. What would that be rooted in to just have one suspender, like one half of your drawers up, right? Yeah, they make great food because it's all high fat, high calorie, but these people are doing a lot of physical labor. Uh, to run a farm, to run it, uh, to run an enterprise. You know, basically, you're working from sunrise to sunset, and I don't think these people were hanging out late drinking beer and goofing around in Kitchen Stadium. Thank you, Jr. Yes, they did. Thank you. Uh, all of your guys come. Yeah, well, thank you, Jr. Very sweet of you. It was great to have Blackbird down there and enjoy Easter. Let's see. Well. How well? I want to see. Yeah, I want to see how well the bike lights up too. Uh, the water fee in the paper annual. Yeah, draw water from my own well. Great. God, I tell you, this county's always got hands in your in its pocket. I mean, you can't even have your own. <clears throat> you can't even have your own water underneath of your property, right? Drawn up by well. Without the county, I'm sure it's not going to challenge that in court. I mean, that's that's private property shit that you're starting to cross the. You're starting to cross into controlling private property, and that's bullshit. So, you know, I don't want to hear all this groundwater bullshit. Let me see what Diane said. Someone I used to know and I used to buy food sold by Amish. Um, I'm from Pennsylvania, and I've been living in for near 20 of the Amish between the two states. Yes, I know the ones in Bird in Hand, Intercourse, Par uh, Paradise, or whatever. I, my best friend in college, came, lived, family came out of Bucks County, Pennsylvania, and a lot of that. Hey, Joni, how are you? How are you? I saw, yeah. There's different branches, I think, of Amish, and... You know, the Mennonites, the ladies wear the little white caps or whatever, so. I admire that people that can be like that and live that life. Just dig a secret well, show them your regular well. Not to, yeah, well, you know the money to cost, do you know the money to drill a well these days, Adam? And who's going to dig the well? The fresh brown eggs from the Amish community here in Northern, yeah. We got them here, too. Yeah, they're all over. These days, you get a well deal. You get a well driller out. The first thing they're going to do is require: Did you pull a permit for this job? No. Nope. Well, you want me to pull a permit for the job? Do I need to? Yeah. We can't go. And I'm going to have to charge you for bringing all the shit out today. The county might end up putting a meter. On. I know they're going to put a meter on my well. Many nights around here in Butte saw some yesterday. They're like, oh well, okay. Uh, it just seems like more state overreach for me. Cool to see you too. So, I don't know. I just got to deal with it. But the cost of uh, drilling a well is expensive as hell. It's probably like at least 150 bucks a foot now to properly size that out, case that well, and do all that stuff. I would like to see those bike lights as it gets dark. I know. To, yeah, I think we're going to have to set the, we're going to have to set Spanky up in, uh, we're going to have to set the camera up in a parking lot and roll around. It's easy to sit just to let it. Well, I don't know. There's a lot of money here that uses well for ranches and other things, so I'm not sure. It should be grand. Yeah, it should be grandfathered. In the well, we came in 1956 when the property was built. So, and every year I have to pay to 
get the backflow device checked to make sure that the water is not going back into the county it's into the county water system that's a hundred bucks for somebody to come out and just check a check valve it's all a bunch of bullshit any way they can put their hand in your pocket, my friend would buy Amish baked goods and jams and jellies. Yeah, I don't know if they're necessarily the best, Diane. I mean, I've got Kozlowski Farm out here in Forestville. It's wonderful. Hey, coyotes. I'm a welder. I can drill a well with a 10 horsepower motor. That's nice. Yep. That's cool. Hold on a minute. Ooh. What the hell? All right, let's see. What the hell am I doing? Use a foam cannon before scrub here. Hold on, man. There we go. We have a lot of natural gas. Yeah, you got plenty in Ohio. Yeah. Yeah, there's people don't understand how big the oil and gas industry is in Ohio. It's pretty damn huge. My, um, my godfather's brother was big into that in Ohio in partnerships, limited uh, partnerships and stuff, drilling in Ohio and well ownership and all that, stripper wells. Yeah, Ohio, believe it or not, has a pretty damn advanced oil and gas uh, industry there. I helped a person drill a, drill a well by hand, 350 foot, and we print, primed it and got it flowing out without telling anyone about it. How did you drill 350, how did you, how did you drill it at uh, 350 feet? How did you do that? How do you drill down 350 feet? I mean, you know, you're talking about more than the length of a football field. Pay for water runoff from our property to the Water Commission sewers, if that's where it goes. <laughs> yeah, Ronnie. Yeah. Well, water out, water out in the West is becoming a real bitch. You know, and to tell you the truth, there's a lot of people that are getting mighty pissed off. But when you're talking about drilling 350 feet, I only have a 25-foot well. Pipe stents. Well, what they do is they thread opposite of the direction of the drill, and you just can hook uh, 310 foot rods. It ain't gonna happen. You have to have a boom. You literally have to have a derrick to raise that shit up. And to run that drill, can you imagine the horsepower you need? You think that well drilling is going to go unnoticed? And I don't. Th I think it's more like 10, 30 foot rods. I can't think that people are going to. You know, that's we just connected pipe by hand and used electric jackhammer to drive the pipe. Then we hit pressure and found water after that. You're lucky you didn't hit a gas. Uh, thing maybe use a auger I don't know if I'm sp yeah auger uh yeah but the horsepower remember the deeper you go the more power you're gonna need until you're talking about um, you know you're gonna need hundreds of horsepower when you get down around 50 75 feet costs a ton like 30,000 geothermal here costs a ton yeah Shane hey Shane and let's say that you drill and at the 100, let's say that you go down to the 220 foot level and you hit an oil seam under pressure or a gas seam and you have a flare out that you're not prepared to control and all of a sudden in your hood you have a 180 foot column of flame. Now, do you think anybody's going to notice?
by the time they're done charging you for that, the fire department, the specialized guys that have to come in and cap that off, the fines you're going to pay, yeah, I'll say you were lucky. You were damn lucky. You took a hell of a chance. I wouldn't drill shit. Depends on the soil and such. Uh, hit the oil clamp. It's, that's it. <clears throat> Especially in the middle of an urban area, and all of a sudden we have a, you know, we hit a, the mother load of oil in the state of California, and they're going to hate your guts forever there. All right. Oh, how do you like my uh, my own oil well? <laughs> like something out of there will be blood. <laughs> the smell. <laughs> All the oil smell and everything. I love that. And there will be blood. It wasn't even talking the first 15 minutes, right? And they blew out that thing. Boom. And that pipe goes up so high. Well, you know what? That shit comes down, too. Once it goes airborne, whoa. You know, Brenda? Holy smokes, you can feel it coming down. You hit a gas seam, and all of a sudden, your, your pipe's shaking. When your guys are trying to jump off the derrick, and all of a sudden, that pipe goes, right? And here comes the gas. And the next thing, there's the spark. Boom. And there you go. That looks more like Debbie Does Dallas. Oh, yeah. That's what somebody said my TikTok the other day looked like that. Rosie Does All of Dallas, right? I'd like to drill and hit gold. Well, panning for gold is the deal around here until you get up into the Sierras. Yeah, Beverly Hillbillies. That's still a pretty wild movie. There will be blood. Uh, it's a hell of a hell of an opener on that. Daniel Day Lewis at his finest on that. So I guess that's a roundabout way of saying, Adam, I'm not digging down more than a couple feet on the rancho, uh, just because, right? I mean, it's ooh, this state's Cal Ocean stuff, and ooh. You have every, all these enviro nuts would be, all the tree huggers would be descending on your property. Meanwhile, this baby's spraying out a thousand barrels an hour of oil all over the neighborhood. Everything's coated with oil and slick. People's cars, people are having accidents, right? The news copters are flying overhead, cops are there, right? And they just look at you like, what the hell were you thinking? Really? I just wanted to water my garden. <laughs> Should be quite a bill. <laughs> Make my way to bankruptcy court. My, my huge veins of gold, a foot wide, 100 feet long. One of the cars I'm looking at is all black cloth seat interior. Your outfit would match. Yes, I love black. Yes. Drilling can be boring at times, but when you start digging down, you don't really don't know what the soil is. First thing you know, Rosie's in the poorhouse. Nothing to cheer for, Jamie. When you hit oil here, it's like a nightmare. <laughs> the interesting news story, though. Transgender girl wildcatter hits oil in the <laughs> neighborhood catastrophe. Will she be a multimillionaire or be broke forever? The lawyers will have a field day. <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I think if you keep a black car nice and shiny, it's because my allergies are killing me, Sarah. Just killing me. Mm. They came early this year. I usually don't get them till May, and they hit early in April, so I didn't have time to put down my base of Mazonex. So I started, yeah, I don't want to be hitting any oil. And literally, you never really know what's down in the ground anyway, the levels here. You have earthquakes and stuff, and that can bring up a lot of sub-level stuff can rise up 
oil domes and other things can form and you can have a real problem. I don't think it's going to be like the Beverly Hillbillies when the guy from the oil company from Tulsa comes knocking at your I want to really want a silver. Uh, the only silver I like is in a Dorito bikini. Otherwise, I'm not really a big silver advocate. If you have mineral rights, yeah, it could be a plus. Yes. You just never know, Brenda. <clears throat> now, if an earthquake brought that up naturally, then okay, there's not much that could be done about it. Maybe then I'd be rich. I mean, look down in L.A. at the uh, La Brea tar pits, and God knows what kind of, you know, there's a lot of oil in Southern California. There's a lot here off the coast. Still Versailles clean looking longer? Uh, I guess so. I don't know. I mean, I've never washed this van in five years, going on the five years, so. Janet's riding along like, holy shit. <laughs> really, Rosie? There's a hole that's said to be the deepest hole in the world. Yeah, there's one in uh, Tajikistan, too, in a fire. She loaded up her van and she moved to Beverly. Paid three thirty-three a gallon for fuel today. Okay. Yeah, every black car is going to show dirt, of course. It's a commitment, but when you get one super shined up, there ain't a color that looks better. There ain't a color on planet Earth that looks more impressive. Think of a beautiful, beautiful Cadillac, right, in all of its glory. A beautiful classic uh, 1962 suicide door Cadillac, or a Continental with jet black. Beautiful. What a dream. What a dream. I hope I don't have to get a car. My Stang was meant to be black. Of course it is. Black is badass. You know, it's a, it's just a killer country, color. There's no, yeah, black costs double to remove swirls and minor scratches. It does. It's got to be handled carefully. But look at it this way. Black can be badass. Black can be super elegant. I can't think of any other color that can be badass and be super elegant at the same. Okay. I welcome your input. You know, it's just, I I don't really see it. Right? It can be the most stately automobile. There's a reason that all limousines of state are always black. Okay. 60 miles to the cheeseburger. There's the parking guy. Let me see, dude. It's, it's after 6 o'clock. You can't touch me. Yeah, Black Widow should be a color. Did you see today? Was anybody on my stream when I opened to plug in my power cord? And there's a Black Widow like that big. Big, fat, juicy job. Too dang, that gets too dang hot. Either silver or white. Yeah. That thing was that, that big. That was like the biggest, fattest, juiciest Black Widow. Now, y'all, I didn't, I just wanted to plug in. I didn't squash it or hit it or anything. You know, I'm just saying, I guys kind of pushed it with the uh, tip of the cord to get it moved to just drop down to the ground and go fix itself up. Yeah, 1960 Cadillac Blackhurst are cool. I just say the regular sedans are cool, right? No, just really nice. I wasn't really big on the Eldorados, but uh, a nice Brome, Coupe de Ville, lovely. Hey, Mr. Z, Ooh, there's Mr. Z. I've been sending him some cool videos. I think he's enjoying. You have to ask it for for share or rent. What is that? You should have ask it for its share of the rent. Okay, the next choice is white. I want to cut it and look dirty like my black one. I've is that pearl or pearl essence flip? Good evening, Amanda. Nice to see you back. The phone guy to take it. I will rewatch. Okay, Charlotte, welcome back. 
enough to make me soil. <laughs> soil myself. Classic Jet Black Simon. How you doing, handsome? Hope you and Robin had a and your family had a wonderful Easter. Pearl white. Okay, I really like the pearl essence. White pearl essence I like. It's expensive as hell. I don't even know if you can repair it, but it's I've never had a black car ever. I've had uh, uh, like a cobalt blue 68 Mustang with the with the white racing type looking stripe. Going to follow against me, so I would have to stay 30 yards away from myself. Really? What's the difference? Pearl Essence has a luminous. Uh, it's not even shiny. Hey, Tater Toddy. It has a luminosity to it. Meaning, when you look at it, and maybe we'll find one going around tonight here. When you look at it, it's not even white. It's like. It's got really tiny little flake in it. I don't even know how to describe pearlescence finish. I'd hate to have to fix it. Holy smokes, I wish I could find one. They're expensive as hell. Expensive as hell. Won't be long, we'll be seeing Mr. Z. I might try to scoot down there real quick, but I don't know. It probably wouldn't be till May. I wanted the Bentley. Yeah, I know, but I no room for my. So I'm keeping my O1 F1 V A T O. Yes, no room for yes. You got your your 40 year old F150. Yes, how wonderful. Yes, yes. Thank you, T O. Yes, room for the Bentley, the best landscaper on planet Earth. Really. Hold on a minute. Oh, buddy. The reason we use a foam cannon is to lift dirt contaminants off the paint that can cause... Best one on planet Earth. Do ba do ba do ba do boo boo. Uh, just checking uh, TikTok for a second. It's kind of funny. I mean, I just did a Rancho update and that thing just died today. It's like unless I'm taking my clothes off, it just doesn't go anywhere. Sorry, I was doing yoga. Oh, yeah? Cool. Cool. I'm trying to see if I see a pearl essence. There's just something luminous about them. They don't have any kind of like uh, gloss shine. They're very nice. You all know what I mean by pearl essence? Oh, <clears throat> my silver car clean. Oh, I had a silver uh, cruise, Chevy cruise. That was okay. Just manual. I just got tired of manual. I just three years. I'm like, boss is like, you know, Rosie, they took, uh, you know, 30 years to perfect the automatic transmission. So here you are. Right. So here you are. Really? I got tired. My left foot got touched. Tired. Was doing yoga in my gray sweats. I had a silver Mazda. I had a gunmetal gray Mazda. Still, still damn good car. V6. Man, that car can fly. That Mazda was some. That's still a very desirable car. That 2000. 2008 Mazda 6 that's a real that's still a that a lot of hood rats want that vehicle because that V6 is way powers the hell out of that uh, Mazda 6 I mean that's a hell of a powerful vehicle Yeah, especially the classic ones that uh, guys like to rat them out and make them real street badass. And that V6 <clears throat> was really powerful. I need a car something in a blaze orange. You know, I don't see, I could drive around a long time and I don't think I would see too many orange cars. 
Yeah, the Mazda V6 was really good. When it's tuned right, I mean, the thing is, uh, is unbelievable torque and power. Great vehicle. But I don't, <clears throat> I don't see, uh, you want a van like mine, Nino? I have a black Miata Sport with hard top. Racers grab the hard top, so rare to have one. Yeah, they're great vehicles, you know? Turbo Yugo, whoa, 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 used to have a grand damn GT many years at nice then, yeah. That's cool. Um, black Miata, I like the Miatas with the hard top. Racers grab the hard top, so rare to have one, yeah. But the V6 is a real powerhouse. Real powerhouse. Hugger Orange here, hey Popo. Hugger Orange here, okay. That V6 uh, this is a four speed would jump off the line. I was always impressed. My, I had a 65 yellow GMC van, six cylinder. I wish I'd kept. 65 yellow GMC six cylinder. GMC van, 65. I can't even picture that. 2300 Civic. Wow, MR 2003 Civic, 200, uh, 5000 miles. That's awesome. You have to register your van. My van was automatically registered as a commercial vehicle, Joni, because it's considered a work van. It has zero suspension. Still rides okay, but I can park at any yellow commercial area, San Francisco, Chinatown, anywhere, no problem. Uh, my SRX is a pearl tint coat. It was extra for that. It was worth it. I've been driving it for 13 years. That's nice. Nice, Linda. Still love it. Good. Yeah, I learned on a manual. Three on a tree. Four on the floor. Three speed. I did it all. But I just got tired of it. <clears throat> My daughter had a Miata and she wouldn't let me drive it. So I... <laughs> ah, yes. There you go, honey badger. Dad, get your own. Well, honey, what about when I you were... Don't talk about old shit, Dad. Get your own, okay? You owed that to me when I was learning to drive. Okay. Had an Accord, went to 200, 3,000. A lot of dark. I'm in a very dark place psychologically, having a lot of dark thoughts. Well, you should uh, check yourself into uh, call the call the health National Health Service. Jump off a line here and uh, go check yourself in. You need to get some airbag suspension. Well, Adam, I don't know. You know, at some point in my life, I have to step up to something that's decent. Okay? You know, Cupcake's out there earning its keep. All right? I got Cupcake working like a street hoe out there. All right? In undisclosed locations doing its thing. It's probably racked up another 5,000, 10,000 miles. But I got to get myself something nice one time. Okay, otherwise I've been driving raggedy shit for like forever. Okay. I learned with the 65 Econline van. Three on a tree, yes, there you go. I had a um, Suburban, it had a three on a tree, like a 71. I didn't have it, but I drove it for the uh, Scout, Boy Scout troop. The, um, yeah, yeah, cupcakes on special assignment, yes. I'd like to, I don't know about a big black Cadillac, you'll get an orange color. I'd like to have Simon's got the beautiful 300. Simon Simple has a beautiful price for 300. That was like riding in a limousine. I've been going from room to room to know if keep watching the thought will go away, just don't be a burden. You're not a burden, Dave, but we're not the ones to provide mental health intervention. But if it helps you to be here, I'm glad. Called sneakers. There we go. Hey, Flower Power, how are you? I have a 750 uh, 2003 Mitsubishi Lancer Evolution. It's just a little four cylinder. It eats most anything you will see daily. You know, Brian, I, this little van, hey, how you doing, Sherry? This little van, good to see you, Sherry, nice to see you. 
one of my dearest subscribers here. This has a 2.4, and this thing is light. It's only a tin can. There's nothing to this thing. It's an engine and a frame and a can. And man, this thing, woo, goes, goes. Yeah, of course, Dave, we're not going to, you know, I'm just telling you there's limits. I wish I could reach out and give you a hug. But barring that, if it helps you to be here, then I'm very happy about that. Please don't be in a dark place with that intervention if you're having dark thoughts, okay? Um, I worry about that. Really want to ride in style, but get a... What does that get a Nash? A Nash Rambler. God, I remember that. Drive a 2012 Honda and a 2012... Wow. Chimay's doing it up. Honda CRV. They're good vehicles, aren't they, Chimay? Right. The CRVs are just wonderful. Easy to park. An Astro van with a V6 and that thing would haul ass. Yes. I like the Astros. My Dodge dealership also sells Chrysler. Well, they should. It used to be Chrysler, Dodge, Plymouth, and then now they have Ram. Just sit back and laugh. Exactly. You know. One World, the AMC Pacer, remember that? The Gremlin and the Pacer. CRVs, they're great. How you doing, Mandy? It's 2000 Chevy 1500 conversion van. They're nice. I had a 72 Plymouth Duster with a holly carb on a six in line with street radial tires, thick and back, skinny in front. Oh, man. Nice. Posse for burnouts. Nice. Yeah, Jeeps. I'm not crazy about the Jeeps. You have a Chrysler 200. They're pretty cool. Is your van cold when the heat is off? What does that mean? Like most vehicles, Dave, I don't have instant on heat. It takes a couple minutes for the engine to warm up and the thermostat to open to allow uh, water to circulate through the uh, fins and bring the heat in. Does it hold the heat? No. It's a tin can. I mean, look at it. It's just a damn tin can. You'd be cold as a witch's tit. Yeah, you can't grab $100 off. Yeah, Mr. Z's here, and, uh, you know, I have nothing but love for Mr. Z, and he has been weathering his storm, and I could not be more proud of him. And thank God... There's work. Staying busy. Had a cute little Nash. Oh, those little Metropolitans are so cute. Oh, they were cute. The Nash Metropolitan, so tiny. We used to have price to report over as we were 24 beer behind the front grill. Woo, baby, Mr. Z. Drive one of the most reliable SUVs ever. Old in the neighborhood of Florida. Yeah, there's a lot of alligators down there. You have a lot of uh, <clears throat> old folks driving into canals and shit. Get double glazing for your van. Eh, it's a va it's a work van. It's it's never gonna give any it's, it's never gonna get any problem. I can stealth camp with this anywhere. I've parked in front of the mayor. Of, I've camped in front of. You know, boondocked in front of the mayor of Reno's house multiple times. Okay, nobody suspects anything except there's somebody getting some work done in one of the homes around, and they're not messing with it. Ford Escape SUV. Missy Jen used to have the Escape. <coughs> Black and brown bears here in Idaho. Hard to read the chat. Have slot machines and <laughs> blindness. I hope you won something. I need to build a uh, Pulse Jet engine for my bicycle on the 2014 Dodge Dart with the same engine as your van it currently has. Yeah, I think this is it's a pretty damn indestructible. I'm very impressed with the uh, 2.4 Fiat build on this. I haven't had a lick of trouble. You won big? Oh, awesome. Glad to hear that, Flower Power. Congratulations. Hey Courtney, how are you? 
I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you had a good uh, good holiday. I don't know, Diane. I can't see you in Escape unless you want like an SUV. I see you as always like the sedan type of person. Like a black Charger, black Challenger, black Mustang... Something like that. It's known as the eco boom because the engine blows up, <laughs> so you don't change the oil. Yes. Back in front of Nancy Pelosi's house. Yeah. Drive my dart was bigger. Davis, my dart was bigger than yours. Was a 1975 Swinger. The only Swinger I knew was the Polaroid Swinger. Meet the Swinger, Polaroid Swinger. Only 1995. The only thing that scares Rosie is a five-pound black widow. I tell you, Bobby, I opened up that thing where you plug in my power for in the driveway. Son of a bitch! That thing was that big in there. Winning three wins, about seven grand. Wow! Shit, that's nice. Congratulations, Flower Power. That big back window was juicy. I startled it. It just kind of... It's a good thing it didn't jump on me. A lot of people get bitten with sudden stuff like that. thing just lands on you. Ooh, and then you don't have time to react. Uh, ch chomps into you. Uh, 75 Dodge Dart Swinger with a shift six. I like the... Uh, I think they had the Barracuda... The 66 Barracuda with the uh, fastback, the cool glass on the back, and I think that had the slant six in that. I would love to have one of them and do a restoration. I would have been off running like Forrest Gump. I'll tell you, that thing was huge. It was a blast. Now i dead on my feet. I'll bet. I mean, it's a commitment to go to Vegas and really hit it hard. Which hotel did you stay at? Or which casino did you have your luck? Didn't miss anything, Noreen. Do you like the cute dog with the rabbit? Do you like the cute dog with the... I do. I did like the cute dog. That was so cute. I think I answered you back, Timothy. That was so sweet. Hey, June. Good thing the widow... You knew you were a YouTube celebrity. I'll tell you, we grow some big ones here. Yeah, at night, if you're far enough behind me, it looks like a charger. Hey, hey 1970 Coronet. Yeah, how you doing? How you doing, Cooking Green? Nice to see you. I probably don't want the new cheap Eco Boost, boost must. How about the, um, you're not interested in the electric, uh, because you don't drive a lot. That that uh, Mustang might be real nice for you. Might be right up your alley. My f oh, the Palace, 40th floor. The Palace, Palace Station. No, Caesar's Palace. Okay, cool. Um, I think what would Flower Power be doing in that shithole over Palace Station? Yeah, Caesar's Palace. Okay. You and Cheryl should get together. 1980 Buick for the drag strip. Why well, a, a Buick Electra? That was pretty damn cool. Plug in an electric car, live in an apartment. Your apartment building complex should have uh, be required by code now to have, especially since California is not going to be selling gas vehicles after 2035 so your you, your apartment should have you plug in capable i find it efficient to get to 83 on my tiny scooter that's nice yeah vegas is problematic i know it's snowing like a mofo should be in the 50s i you know something fundamentally changed in vegas i've noticed the casino stocks have done nothing but go down for months I want to share a bottle of Perrier Sparkling Top of the Eiffel Tower. Isn't that nice? Da, 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 da. Bonjour, madame. Mademoiselle et bonjour. Do, do. Do, 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 do. I'd like to get to Paris one day. You don't want an EcoBoot in a new Bronco 3 cylinder buzzes and red. <laughs> eh. 
It doesn't matter, Diane. That's called retrofitting. It doesn't matter how old the building is. You should talk to management. They should be required to put in charging stations there. So, shooting themselves in the foot by their greed. Um, they are. Hey, Ernie. Great to see you back. They are getting greedy. They are nickel and diming people. Casino stocks are down because of the price of fuel, less drive-in traffic at the margin, um, the cost of eating, the cost of staying in Vegas. They're really sticking it up people's wazoo these days. So The casino stocks are looking ahead to a period of low demand now, or lower demand, especially coming into... When it gets hot, people stay away from Vegas in the summer. It's just too damn hot. Grand National or Monte Carlo for the dry trip. Uh, uh, never really thought much of Monte Carlo's. And my old, there was only one electric car plugger spot. Yeah, they need to add more of them. You should have a 10 inch strike there, Diane. Say, what kind of outfit are we running here? Also messing with points for play and just try to get, even get a coffee to machine. Uh... Yeah, the point stuff is a racket, so I go for the people, I go for the food experience, so what I do is I just have my $20 strategy and that's it. Well, you don't get, there's some places that don't charge a resort, there's the uh, uh, Fremont doesn't charge a resort fee, there's a few of them. Uh, stay away from that junk. Honda, Toyota, much better than Ford. Well, I don't know, Cook and Green, the build quality of American vehicles is is outstanding today thanks to the pressure from Japanese. It really forced uh, American builders to build some great stuff these days. Well, I think I might take you up on that, Mr. Z. I think that might be pretty well. <clears throat> I've gone for many weeks, as long as you allow me to cook. I had a banana yellow Monte Carlo, 1976. Banana yellow. Wow. Anybody have a Cordoba? I never pay a rumor. It's just flight or sometimes. Yeah, they should. Uh, they should. If you're gambling on a scale where you're winning that much, they should be covering. Yeah, Ford. All American vehicles show trains when they go by um i i'm in the building it's behind the building here sports car not the new electric one i got gotcha. you i would probably get an electric vehicle and uh, just put solar panel on top of the garage so you get free free charging just put an inverter in there and just charge up the damn vehicle. It's, it's like free free ride, right? So I'll tell you now, it's ridiculous. We're at $108 a barrel today and probably going up to retest the 130, $125, $130 level again. We had corn hit an all-time high today, $8.08 a bushel. Can you imagine that for corn? Never in the history of the world. You can stay with me. Well, thank you. Okay, Mr. Z, I might take you up on that. Probably be easier for you anyway. I wish my apartment had uh, free electric. And actually, if you have a recliner that reclines, that's what I've been sleeping in. Well, I don't need to bed, but if you got a recliner, that's all I've been sleeping in. Train bell is a lousy e-bell, not a real bell. Yeah, it's all crap, cooking green. It's all crap. Chevy Vega, that rusted right before. The, the Pinto was pretty shitty. The Gremlin was pretty shitty. The Pacer was pretty shitty. But I think the Vega, the aluminum engine would just melt. The aluminum just was so shitty. The, the Maverick was shit. The 1970 Maverick was shit. Oh, wow. You just got a new living room set. That's awesome. Well, that's where I sleep. You know, that's all I need. That's it. But let's face it, Mr. Z. You, you need some prison industrial complex time. So I can't deprive you of that. 
I use my comps. I have to wait. Uh, what they offer gambling is for fun. Yeah, my aunt drove a Pinto when I was. Well, uh, my roommates, my girlfriend's roommate in college drove one. I lucked out. That chick was never around. Come the weekend, she was gone. Hey everyone, music and me, Chad, baby owns my phone, oh how cute, no I never street raced Brian, I was always like a motorhead that just wanted to know the mechanics of things, uh, you know, uh, replaning cylinder heads and revalving and uh, you know, uh, precision, I just enjoyed that kind of stuff, the gremlin had like the, had like this short back on it, like raked back. I mean, it was kind of weird looking. No, the bubble car was the pacer. I'm doing good, Robbie. How are you doing? The pacer was the one that was all like being in a fishbowl. And that was kind of the death of American motors. Yeah, the Gremlin just... Uh, I don't even know what to compare the Gremlin to. You had the Pacer, I think you had the Concorde, which was like their sedan, their bigger sedan, the AMC Concorde. A lot of ugly cars. Well, we hit our low points in the 70s and 80s, Detroit. Shittiest was Yugo. Yeah, the Yugo didn't last long. Had a manual shift, one of those 78, yeah. Out of Chevy Vega paid 500 Well, that's... Well, you didn't get ripped off then, right? <laughs> right, Cindy? Probably did okay for you. Dodge sports car. We love the 60s and 70s Dodge sports cars. 76 uh, Chevette for my first car, yes. Had a... Yeah, the AMC Hornet was the other one. But a lot of you guys probably don't even remember the AMC Concord. That was like their, I dare not say, like, luxury sedan. But it was pretty wild. I have a big wheel, very economical on gas, paddle power. Well, I get to hear them on the on the, on the the alley next to me every morning in summer. The kids are out there at 6 a.m. on the plastic wheels on asphalt. Nothing like it. Yeah, look up the, uh, look at the AMC Concorde. Like a batting helmet from the side profile. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, 65 in Pala. Now they, they're worth a lot, Julio. 65, 66. Man, motorheads love that. Cars are like I'm a bike guy. Two mo oh, wow, 24 motorcycles. Wow. Damn. Yeah, Tucker Torpedo. I like the old 60s, 70s muscle car. Well, I think we all do. Hey, Lucky Beans. It has been a while, honey. Hope you're doing okay. Nice to see you. Always get a little thrill when I see one of your TikToks come up. Yes, I've still managed to survive. <laughs> Always good to see Lucky Beans. I learned to drive a Chevette. It was a straight. It was a, a red, gray. So ugly. I remember we had a uh, Plymouth. The hell was that thing? A Horizon. Plymouth Horizon. Now that was a POS. The, I kept having my brother, little brother, drove that a lot, and the damn clutch pedal. The uh, cable kept coming off the damn clutch pedal, and I had to engineer my own fix for him. Drove me crazy. Starting works, and that's good. Just two days a week. Okay, well, good, Lucky Beans. Good for you. Um, this, uh, I'm proud of you. You go for Yugoslavia. Very good, Lucky. I hope you enjoy it. 
plastic shit. My first car was a uh, 1951 Chrysler Imperial Crown Victoria, 5,000 pounds. The first Chrysler Firepower Hemis. Thank you, Mandy. Thank you. And we did a full restoration on that. That, that car was a death trap, though. That weight with kids with shitty brakes, unbelievable. 69 and a half Chevy Camaro that had the LT1 motor very fast. Yeah, that's a good one. Then I had a, uh, the hell did I have a 62, 63 Chevy Biscayne with a slant six. That's the one I painted with a paintbrush. Green. Then I had a the hell did I next? I bought my girlfriend's 71 Olds Cutlass Supreme, which was probably the best vehicle ever. I had a 350 rocket in it. Oh, that thing was so smooth. Oh, I could cry. I sold it to my brother. He drove another 100,000 miles on that thing till it rusted out. Then I had a 68 Mustang that I inherited from my grandfather. Then I think I bought a uh, Chevy 91 Chevy Caprice. God, I love that car. It was like driving a sofa. It was so comfortable. So comfortable. 67 Vet. Nice, Robbie. I used to like to drive the LTD station wagon. When we had a 66 Ford Country Squire. That was pretty cool. Station wagon. And we had 71 LT, 73 LTD. That was pretty cool. That thing had like a 402. 77 Old Cutlass. It was yellow, yeah. The V12 Viper. How about the Prowler? I don't know, you know. They're like novelty cars. Sixty-four Rambler, just good, reliable. A lot of people had to Dodge Dart, just good, reliable, basic transportation. Drove a Dodge Ram, pick up a Viper engine, and like everybody slammed on their brakes in their rearview mirror. Chevy Impala, we paid two funds during that show. My mom would wouldn't start back up. But I like to the Barbie Winnebago. Well, motorhomes are ridiculously overpriced. Bobcat, yeah. I think I remember the Bobcat. Well, God knows cars. <sighs> God knows cars are more reliable these days. Right, let's do a battery check. We're at 59%. 72 country. We had 66 country squire. Transmission went out like the first week. The line came off of it. We went on a trip to Gettysburg, Pennsylvania and broke down up there. That sucked ass. Playing we a lot of it was a rough. Well, you, you survived it. You never have to worry about being brought down on a pain because of turbulence. We had an 88, 35th anniversary vet. Oh, nice. Sold it. If it ever to take the bus. Yeah. <laughs> I had to take the bus. Let me see. The night belongs to charge you. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. You think you can hop in? Oh, of course I can hop in a manual right away. Yes, three speed, four speed. Of course, a 66 Cutlass. Holds, wish that I had never gotten rid of they? Weren't they just amazing? I think my girlfriend sold me the Cutlass Supreme, was just like, oh, wow. I didn't really want to get rid of that vehicle. 
Love that vehicle. Absolutely adored that vehicle. And the, yeah, my lease car was a manual, yes. It was a 2012 Chevy Cruze. It was okay. I love driving four speed at 75 km. In, in, in like, uh, you know, like if you take it to San Francisco, which I'm good. I mean, I can, I can clutch and gas and, you know, you're, you're stopped at the top of a hill. You got somebody one inch from your bumper in the back and you've got to hit that thing. I could do that good. <clears throat> because you have to keep using your left foot to drive. Yeah, I just, I got burned out. I said I'll never have another manual again. I got tired of clutching and shit. I just get tired of it. Alright. I thought there's no glory in it. I'm not some punk ass kid. Yeah, the Subaru is very nice. That's the Forester, Amanda, yes. And it's the um, Super Edition. Uh, Self-steering and driving. You just keep your hand lightly on the wheel. It just tracks in. It keeps the distance to the vehicle in front. It's a pretty damn amazing vehicle. Yeah, they were made like tanks. My knee got tired. <sighs> My knee got tired of it. I got tired of that. You know, I got just tired of clutching. Just supper time. Okay, have a pot of chicken bubbling away. Oh, nice. Have a good one, cooking green. Have a good one, Mr. Chrome Butcher. Just better every type of vehicle. Everything from a scooter, motorcycle, on that. Yeah, and even a tank. Yes. Uh, I always put the teacher through the windshield, not coordinating it. Well, it takes practice. It's a concept thing. You have to balance the gas with the um, with the clutch. You can't just pop the clutch. Yes, I remember push button manuals too. That was memorable. Yeah, the Dodge had that. Chrysler had the push button. Yeah. I taught my. Uh, taught my draw daughters to drive manuals and down a dollar fifty by October I don't know Judith Judith we're moving up again corn hit an all-time high in the history of the world corn has never been so high yeah parallel parking on a hill yes well flower power it's nice if you know you have people you can rely on I think you get older, I just get lazier, I just like automatic, I just like, just go, you know, the push button, we, yeah, the 64 Dodge, the push button, I sent a Chrysler to talk, it was a male voice, what? Well, the Chrysler Turbine, the government had made them, smash them up. It was just wasn't very fuel, didn't really have a like, good fuel economy. And Jay Leno's garage actually has one of them. The Chrysler Turbine. Uh, I always suggest that people subscribe to Jay Leno's garage. In my car, the gear selector is opposite the blinker on. Okay, Ron. No, but you just put, yeah, turn to change gears. That's it. That's pretty cool, Amanda. I'd like to know what year that is. If I have to parallel park, I ain't gone. When Baltimore City, you were required to get a license. You had to parallel park, and they would take you right out on the road to the heart of the city. Go ahead, park the traffic all around you, people beeping. Come on, asshole, park the car, you know. 54 Volkswagen with the chrome. Wow, 54. Damn. Yeah, we had a K car, Plymouth Reliant. My my parents loved that car. That's the car that saved Chrysler. That's the one that uh, Lee Iacocca saved Chrysler with that car. <clears throat> yeah, we had the Plymouth Reliant. They loved that car. 
Oh, Clutching his back in, Judith. Eh, not for this old broad. 29. Okay, Lincoln MKT. Okay, I thought you were talking about something that you had to switch gears. Like first, second, third, fourth. Jay Leno never revealed his politics. Well, good for him. Did you know what uh, David Letterman's politics were? I never really knew. Yeah, the brat. It just rings a bell. You just push a button, yeah. Hoodles Garage. Uh, right car at the right price, and you will. Yeah, it was a good car. My folks love that K car, the Plymouth Reliant. Great gas mileage, easy to run, had like a 1.7 liter, something like that. Had to park on the hill so I couldn't get going. Oh no, pop the clutch. I'm getting tired of a 5 seat time for an auto. Well, I don't know. You might be Mr. Z at the point where you get tired of clutching. But I'll tell you, I'd be, I'd be looking at used because the new market is just insane. You're still going to pay up for a nice Nissan used, so. though. Dave Letterman resides in Montana. What is he doing these days? Benefit of a 5 seat if your starter went in to pull just your buddies to push you and dump the clutch. That was it. It was a two-seater with the strangest open rear end. It was so odd looking. Who produced the brat? Somebody said a Nash Metropolitan was, was a pretty pretty cool looking, really tiny. There's real avid collectors of those Nash Metropolitans. Yeah, you do. I'll say you got some nice legs, Mr. Z. Oh, the Subaru Brat, yes. Well, how about the Suzuki? They sort of got the hell out of the market. That uh, Suzuki Geo. A lot of people at RV like them, but they're really POSs. My wheels. So I would park on the hill just to be sure I could start up. <laughs> That's cool teeth missing on the flywheel you had to fl flip the tag to get this spout for filling the gas yes that's right Brenda 2021 Ford Escape SUV that's a nice vehicle you know, one odd thing with early 80s okay Subaru Brat I watched some Copart uh, auction channels Bragged that when he hosted the Academy Awards show, nobody slapped on his watch. Yeah, I don't know. Don't get. I never thought Dave. I never thought Letterman was that scintillating. There was a uh, Mandela effect with David Letterman. And many thought he had passed on. Yeah, I remember that. Yeah, I think the brat turned out to be a POS. Like it was half truck and half. It was like the Suzuki. Yeah, I don't know. Metropolitan turquoise. Yeah, the turquoise and white. That's pretty damn cool, Judy. Yeah, this, thank you. The Suzuki Samurai, I'm sorry, not the Geo. The Suzuki Samurai, thank you, Cobra John. The thing, I do not, the thing was like the weird looking thing that could drive in water and stuff or float. Yeah, the thing. Yeah, the thing, you just don't see any things at all. That had like the raked front and the back. It was weird. Suzuki Samurai, yeah. My first date was in a pink Cadillac, married him. Oh, nice. 
I adore get together. Yeah, aren't they nice? Wasn't that good, Regis? It was a very good time. Good food. Now I'm back. I've had my coconut cake. I've had my cheesecake. I'm back on the trail. I'm gonna have the uh, gonna have the keto right right the boss's hack chili tonight. Suzuki has a nice new Jimmy. I don't know. Samurai was a piece of POS, wasn't it? A lot of people use the Suzuki as a tow vehicle for their Class A, Class C motorhomes. They would pull that along. The Geo Tracker, yeah. How you doing, Eddie? Yeah, one slice of cheesecake, plus I had a quarter of the coconut cake for dinner the night before, and then, you know, in the morning, tears of orphans. Get one moth at a gallon and deck that chinchilla fur stuff with eagle's feathers. Hey, James, I'm doing good. Owns a thing. Strange looking car. Wow, that's really cool, Judy. It just, I don't ever see him around. Yeah, cheesecake is good. I don't see. I'll bet it's been 20 years since I've seen a Volkswagen thing. Of course, you don't see that many Carmen Gies run over. I wish I could have cut you a piece, Noreen. That cake just turned out unbelievably good. I like Jeeps. Uh, they, there's a, I don't know about the build quality, like Jeep Liberties. You tap them and they fall apart. Right? There's, the build quality went, I don't know what they are today, but, you know, the best to drive that from the dealer's lot to the junkyard. The old VW Bugs. We have a 66 Charlotte's all about the VW Bugs. We had a 66. Yeah, the best thing I found out of the DC. I don't even watch that. Well, uh, oh well, thank you, <clears throat> thank you, Regis. Aren't you sweet? Geo trackers are being rebuilt and becoming collectible. Okay. Jeep has a minivan engine and a Jeep truck. That thing that kept right. Yeah, the Jeep build quality was good back then. Uh, then it, like the Liberty and stuff, it got a little plasticky, and these things would be totaled if they just had a little parking lot hit. They would just be totaled. I don't know. I look at Jeeps probably since they have them at Dodge. Yeah. Yeah, the Volkswagen is just a four-cylinder H design, flat four, and it's air cooled. You could pull that and rebuild it in a weekend few hours simple to pull out light easy to easy to rebuild and they always had that distinctive like crickets in the exhaust system sound stalling on a hill taking off yes Where the Hummer? Wow, I don't know. Yeah, it's coming. It's coming. I wanted. I want Mr. Z to be in the prison industrial complex for four nights. My dad always had big red jeeps. Well, I think jeeps have become better. Or how I feel about electric vehicles. I don't like change. Um, well, if you like torque, June's had three Jeeps. Nice. If you like torque, yeah, thank you, Rita's. If you like a lot of torque, then electric vehicle, less stuff to break down, no transmission, just direct drive. The only downside is the batteries are just so. We need a battery breakthrough in a big way. We got to have a battery that runs on P or something. Make sure you hit me up when you come to. Do well, James, you'll know I'm around. You'll know when I'm coming. You'll see in the morning when I hit the rest stop and check out the ladies' room. Like, see who exploded on the walls. 
Yeah, thumbs up are very appreciated tonight, guys. We're going to have to go and start packing up some stuff at the uh, rancho now. It's been a good couple, first few hours. La da 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 dee dee, la da. La da 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 do do, do do. Do, 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 do. That's weird. On TikTok, I did a rancho. I mean, they just absolutely killed that thing. <clears throat> so if I'm not taking my clothes off. And... Actually, it had YouTube in there, so I'm just testing to see if they just keep it out because it says YouTube in there. <laughs> Yeah, I want to go to Ellis Island again with Mr. Z. Look at that beautiful silver Chrysler 300 there. It's not as nice as the black, but it's pretty doggone good. Robots in the grocery store. You're going to see robotics doing more and more and more. You gotta take the uh, labor out of the equation these days. No, I never had a vanity plate. Wesley rest stop. Oh my God, I'm at the uh, I'm at the Avenal Coalinga. It's terrible. That's Highway 12 through Wine Country. That's California Highway 12. It starts at Highway 1 on the Pacific Ocean and goes all the way out to Stockton, out there. I think it's funny because then I can always get a good funny video. anybody that thinks that the ladies rooms are always clean as a whistle and it's, we're always clean in there you got another thing coming you need a sofa boy the skies look threatening tonight Guys, look threatening tonight. It's gonna start raining anytime. Hey, Donnie. This is where the weirdo started following me today. You can still see some casinos have those powder rooms. That real old school with the satin and the mirrors. And... Good night, Brenda. Thanks for spending some time. What a hard working gal. The lovely Brenda. Dillard's has nice bathrooms. Yeah, some of the better department stores. That used to be a hallmark of the nice department stores. I know in Baltimore City, down on Howard Street, was all the big shopping district. You had the Heck Company, Hutzler's, Hoshel Cone, and Stewart's, which was the May Company. They all prided themselves on giving you the best shopping experience. Lunch counters, everything. That was the first place I ever saw real segregation growing up. Lunch counters for whites only in the department stores, movie theaters. Yes, I'm that old. What are we doing here, dude? There we go. Pull in, let's 
Let's get going. May Company, I think that got folded into Federated, and then I don't know what the hell happened. I don't even know if Federated is still around. I don't even know. Federated department stores. Well, June, I've been around a long time. You know, I've got a lot of history under my belt. Good thing I'm still ravishing. Time to get some packing up done. Oh, my lawn, you can't really see it, but it's greening in. Got a little green haze on it. Blackbird's home. And went to a nice Easter luncheon. Oh, that's nice. That's great, Amanda. We were hoping you were going to have a good time. Hello, Blackbird. Set up here. Let's get the show on the road. By little, we're just gonna get her done. Let me get this on. So good to see Mr. Z tonight. It's always a great night when Mr. Z is around. What the hell was that noise? Weird birds. Nothing wrong with the baseball game. Let's get this fixed up. Yeah, thumbs up are definitely appreciated. There we go. Side chance. Get the end. Yeah, we only got a uh, hundred four thumbs up tonight. Oh wow! Come on, guys. We've been running almost two hundred people all night. <coughs> How was your day, Blackbird? Pretty good. I got to start taking down Easter stuff here. Oh yeah. Yes. Uh, all the lights put on my bike and everything today. Oh, you did? Yeah. Like it's good tomorrow night. I'm going to try to go on the taco run tomorrow morning. Oh, the Tuesday night? Yeah, Tuesday night taco. Okay. I finally ate at that place. Yeah, how was it? Sorry. Right. Yeah, I like the other ones better across the street. Okay. That's alright. They give you a lot of food. Get some boxes.
I talked to the security there. He said they're going to open up a farmer's market. Yeah, they are. Yep. Yeah, it's about time this neighborhood started getting good shit from around here. Yeah, that'd be cool. Okay, so little by little, we're going to start getting stuff packed up here tonight. Just cut these wires and dick around, kind of untie the knot, and waste all my time. Easter Bunny party hardy, let me tell you. Tally! How are you doing, Tally? Easter Bunny party hardy. Put that in real carefully. Amanda, are you a good cook? Another holiday is come and gone, ladies and gentlemen.
another holiday is come and gone. Four twenty, I think, is in a couple of days. Yeah, four twenty. Yep. Yeah. I used to take people down to Marine High School where four twenty began down, down in the Marine County down there. The actual spot where it all began, four twenty day, the original. We're gonna have a big four twenty in Golden Gate Park. Hey, Robin. Oh, there we go. Oh, you were modding it was cutting in. Well, you got a job to do. It's all cool. Yeah, the boss for some more stuff because this stuff is pretty good. Yeah, I've got another one in here if you want. Okay, I'll get that one. Okay, well. Lanterns down. I like the way this just folds so flat, so nice. But I've grown up in the south and going, oh, nice, Amanda. That's great. No melting, you see grass. Isn't that cool? I'm so happy you're seeing spring is coming. Yeah, it's a little windy. We got rain on the way. Bless you. Okay. So, I'm not sure what happened to Steve, but tomorrow, I got a new helper. So, they didn't say anything about Steve. So, it seems like that guy just shows up when he wants and just kind of makes the money and then splits it. Well, I think it was a big deal when he, when he was there when he wasn't supposed to be. I mean, it probably would have been okay. If the camera people, the security, they call the cops. <laughs> but now that that happened. That's pretty funny that they're monitoring us. Cannot do that because you're not liable because you're not on the clock. <laughs> yeah, goodbye Easter, Elmer. That's right. And hello, uh, chilly tonight. Black bears, brown bears, looking for food, hungry, huh?
great a great Easter this year. The Easter bunny. Yep, time for Robbie to go bye bye. Well, I was watching TV, and there's this island in Japan, right? And they made some kind of gas that killed people at the war or something. Now it's full of rabbits, and they don't know how the rabbits got there. <laughs> wow, that's pretty weird. So people go there just to see a bunch of wild rabbits. And they, look like, they don't look like wild rabbits. They look like buddy rabbits, like pet rabbits. Yeah. I just popped it. Good night, Jamie. Goodbye, extremely cute gnomes. were so cute, these burlap rabbit fold-up thingies. So cute. Good night, Linda. Let's check our battery level. I'm going to have to plug in. Yeah, I'm going to have to get the uh, heavy block out to plug in here. Some real power here. Power tripping. Yep, cute thingy. They're so cute.
Easter. It's pretty darn cool. Remember dancing around the maypole. Dancing around the maypole. Managed to not break any of these nice light strings for the lanterns. That was really nice. Oh, well, Rancho Kitchen Stadium has been around for probably four years. We had it down there. And for winter time, we wanted to have it more year round. Robbie me boy. Robbie me boy. Let's go ahead and get the box for this. Thank you, Cindy Russo. Just like that. Get some tape and close that up. How wonderful. Bye, Robbie. You gave us hours of joy.
Yeah, it looks all naked. We're so used to a tree or Mardi Gras. It's a hell of a deal. Just like that. That's so cute. The way that Cindy boxed that up for me. So cute. All right. Now we got to get the stuff off of our tree. There's Jeffrey. It was beautiful. I'm going to have that forever. Thank you, Jeffrey. Always so wonderfully thoughtful. Baby unhooks. Easter flowers here. All 
right. Easter will be missed. It was an outstanding Easter. But the nice thing, we've got Easter in two boxes. It's real easy for storage. Just have to make sure we mark them good. I guess uh, 4th of July. I don't believe Memorial Day is a holiday to make merry and decorate. It's a very solemn day. Hey, Rain Dancer, how are you? Fits so nice. Two boxes. Wonderful. You saved all the stuff from the holidays. I huh? do. Yeah, it makes it a lot easier to decorate next year. Yeah. up this tree in the garage workshop theme has been the angel of glorious light. That's been the one big consistency.
Blackbird, we've certainly proven this thing can take a beating. <laughs> well, guess what? I probably have all the fitting I don't have to play. Yeah. I have all these PVC fittings, like half a bucket. Yeah, that's cool. Like three quarter. Time for a beer. Stuff. next holiday. Memorial Day. Right. It looks a little bare over there, doesn't it? Looks What's a the little. Next holiday, Rosie? I guess Fourth of July. You have to put a ton of shit up. Ooh. You know everybody shoots fireworks around. Yes, they do. It's the trick because <laughs> Vegas they do only because like, you know, Vegas, they don't do it like, you know what was the trick? I went to Vegas, right? I'm from LA, right? You can't have fireworks, right? <laughs> they do it anyway. Yeah. I went to Vegas and you can buy them, like the kids' fireworks, it's everywhere, in the streets, everywhere. Oh, God, that's good. Oh, did you have a quiet Easter, June, huh? Hello, Cheryl. Mm -mm -mm. Thumbs up or appreciate it, guys. We had a hell of a nice. We had a hell of a nice um, Easter here with all of our display. Mm -mm -mm. Have a little bit of. Boss's hack job chili tonight. Mm. Oh, that beer is good. Uh, time for a dip, yeah. Mr. Z's dipping. Girl, G 
Cheers, Sharla. Good to see you. The one and only Mr. Z. Hey, Gerard. I had a really good one. I'm your friend. Always good to see you, Charlotte. Kitchen Stadium looks bare. Hey Jen. Yeah, you too, sweetie. Good to see you tonight. Just taking a little break. Ugh. Watch you do your lights on the bike and then we have the night live. What a pleasant day. Raining like hell here. It's gonna be raining like hell here in a bit. Hey Barry. Wow, snow today. This country just will not warm up. Mm. Yep, thumbs up or appreciate it. If you haven't hit that thumbs up button, please take a second to do so. It's very appreciated. Ah. I know it's in the 50s here. I see the I see the bike here. Look at how cold that is. How cool is that? Blackbird, check it out. Oh, cool, you got some cool lights. Yeah. Where'd you get them? Chimay sent them to me. Oh, those are so psychic. Yeah, cool. Cool I like watching those guys. Oh, they're like a parade or something. That's pretty darn cool. Well, not only that, people can see you. They'll still be an idiot out there. So it's like the best safety. Cool is that? Oh, that's awesome. <laughs> cool. Can you imagine when that baby's rolling? I'm rolling with the crew, man. Look at that. Wow. All lit up. Yeah, baby. Where'd 
did they start? They started some house. Yeah, they started in Humboldt Park downtown. We're gonna we're gonna cut you off at the pass. You think it's spanky there? Pretty cool. Thank you to Shimei. Very nice. Isn't that cool? The square. Closed pin of car to the back. I mean, that is so cool. I mean, that's like pretty darn cool. Thank you, Shemek. How wonderful. It took a little while, but it was definitely worth it. I love it. I love it. What do you think, Elmer? Really nice and hood. Changing colors and everything. Yeah, put a skull on the handlebar. Pretty cool. And these other lights are automatic. Hey, Tiger. <laughs> I haven't seen Tiger in a long time. Thing on the no car is loud and everything. I mean, that's a cool way to be. Yeah, you'll you'll certainly see that illuminated. If it's not raining tomorrow. Later tonight, if it doesn't start raining, we'll go up and take a little ride. I wanted you to see that. Five years old. How cool this was. And it wasn't that hard to put on. I mean, it took a little bit of effort, but oh, not that hard. And because of the phenomena of persistence of vision, it'll look like a circle, a lighted circle. It just changes colors. What do you think of that, Judy? Pretty cool, huh? Pretty darn cool. Pretty darn. Yes, yeah, pretty cook ass, Tally, huh? Thanks to Shemay. just have a salad tonight but I think that's pretty doggone cool I watched you glad you were yeah I was having a good time I was having a I was having a I was having a real kick ass time
might be pretty good for tomorrow night too. be any pool time but it'll still be we can't even go near a pool until May Whew. it's been a long day we took a ride on Spanky today you can always get the patio ready for Mother's Day with a course decorated by a great mom and you were just uh, that's a good idea Tony I'm going to try to take a look at it, Luca. I think you're the one that sent me the information on that, which is pretty damn cool. <clears throat> I'm going to go everywhere with Mr. Z. I want to get him in the prison industrial complex. Yeah, if we can hit that like button here. Uh, I don't know whether the bag salad tonight. It's kind of chilly tonight. You know, when your team is playing good, but can't score to save their Virginia. Yeah, it happens. You get those dry spells. He must be talking about the Golden Knights. All right. Mr. Z is a hell of a... Hell of a... Thank you, Smelly Cat. Mm -hmm. I love Smelly Cat. She's got the funniest sense of humor. Yeah, look at that. Sadly, Mr. Z, we need your team to lose. Look at Cheryl. You ought to be ashamed of yourself, Cheryl. <laughs> you ought to put yourself in time out. <laughs> I think Vegas has a minor league baseball team, too. I'm not sure. Is that true or not? Yeah, I love Smelly Cat. Is that true? I didn't even wear my sweater just to not jinx it. Mr. Z, do they have a baseball uh, baseball team there, minor league? I know they're about to get the A's. Yes, I think we should go see a game sometime. Yes, because you, yes, Cheryl, you should be ashamed of yourself. Spread the wealth a little bit. Don't be Canadian selfish here. Yep, the aviators. Let me wash my hands here. Oh, we're doing it all when I get down there with Mr. Z. I need some ch I need some chili tonight. Sue me. I need something decent. It's been a long day, bike riding, everything. <laughs> I'll be back. Okay, Amanda. Yeah, it's been a long time. Come on, Cheryl. The Canucks, they're, uh, you know, the 
Vegas Golden Knights are, you know, they're relatively new down there, right? Not the well. Be ashamed of yourself. As many championships. It sucks being so desperate for points. Seattle Kraken. Oh, that's cool. Seattle Kraken minor league team is coming to Palm Springs. That would be cool. What, Mr. Z? Are you kidding me? Is that the real Mr. Z? Yeah, make a gallon. Hey, Golden State. Yeah, I need something substantial today. I gotta use up the rest of this. Uh, I got this um, doggone impossible meat I gotta use up. I gotta use all of that up. Yep, Cheryl S. should be ashamed of herself. Those greedy Canadians. Canadians already took the basketball last year, really? The Toronto Raptors. Ooh, Canadians are taking everything. Oh. Cheryl, that should ought to be ashamed of herself. Let Vegas have a championship, right? Degenerate gamblers have something to bet on. Oh, that's right. Cheryl's a degenerate gambler. Oops, sorry, Cheryl. A Caesar seven diamond. Cheryl's a seven diamond special kind of girl. She is all the way. She's doing it all up big time. Cheryl S. She is a legend. Among Caesar's talents. Mr. Z, I'm going to report you to the Golden Knights fan department for traitorous activities unbecoming a Vegas Golden Knights member. We can't have the Stars win either, yes. Hello, Vicky. Good. Burn, how you doing? We're underway. We're just making a, what the boss calls a hack job chili tonight. A little hack job chili going here. Let's get the rest of our stuff. Now we have enough to 
tomato sauce left over. And last time we opened that, should still be good to go. Hey, I'm doing good. Mr. Z's ready for some visitation action down here. Rosie, let's do it up, man. First class. Let's do it. Z's liquor. Barbecue rib boy. That grill back here. Keep stirring, man. Having a good night. Anyways, yeah, the hack job chili, that's it. More money to pay you. There you go, James. We got some beer standing by. Cilantro. Yeah, I'm not a big cilantro fan. Make sure all that impossible 
burger is really cooked up good there. Tomorrow night, weather permitting, I think we'll be out on the run. Calorie burn tomorrow night. On the bike. We did a bit today on the bike. Yeah, the bunny's down. Everything's down, uh, Flan. Yep. We got everything down and taken care of. We're all put away. Just have to put our beer in and let it go. Inch minus five. Yeah, it's crazy, isn't it, Simon? And we're almost May. We're all dealing with this cold ass weather. Kind of ridiculous. All right, we're all in. Let's get our stuff cleaned up. That salt's about had it down. So we're all good with the feast of chili here. Keto chili. Yeah, we miss Mr. Z, but I'm going to, Mr. Z and I, we're going to blow it out for four nights down there. We're going to blow it out. He's going to be in the prison industrial complex, enjoying it. I'll do chili tomorrow night. 22 degrees, wow. Oh, there's my Scotty. Scotty London. Hey, Scotty. How are you? Scotty. I'm in Washington, D.C. or the state of Washington. Twenty to thirty minutes. 
Washington, D.C., baby. DuPont Circle. Stadium looks naked, huh? Let the cup that that come together good. Mm. Yeah, I can't have cornbread. But I don't really miss it, Golden State. If, um, you know, this is a very nice keto one, so it's relatively low count. Yeah, Mother's Day decorations, yes. Mother's Day. All the UMFs slathered with butter. Yeah. Let me check this thing. Do, do, do. Do 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 La di 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 do Or in a bowl of milk I didn't even have bread yesterday at the Boston Janice they had the rye bread but I sure as hell, yeah, I want to come, I want you to come chooching with this, Scotty. When are you going to come to the rancho and visit? Yeah, send an inflatable pregnant woman. Nine months pregnant. <sighs> Scotty's a world traveler. Rye bread with a little smee, clear screams, and a little fresh ground pepper toasted. They're going, oh, wouldn't that be cool? We can go, we can go, we can root through the Queen's trash can. <laughs> Busted at Buckingham Palace. What the hell did you do it? With a cheese salmon Wellington. What is a Wellington? Does that mean it's wrapped in like a pastry shell? In honor of Lord Wellington, the hero of uh, the Waterloo. Hip hip hooray. Did I miss it, Flan? Sent you two things to hold you. Yes, I did. She may, yes, she did. She also sent me the likes, lights on my bike. So. Yes, yeah, she did. She's wonderful. <laughs> Basically everything I have. <laughs> you know, it's like she may keep me well outfitted. I think we're looking forward to this ride tomorrow night. Fluffy pastry carbs. Well it's nothing. Is it raining? It's just starting to mist. Oh, it's starting to mist, okay. Ah. Oh, you love salmon? Um, if it's bar, if it's cooked on the grill, yeah. Otherwise, I'm not a big salmon. I'd rather have cod. 
Rock cod. I like a flake, flaky whitefish, like a cod. Here in California. Yeah, I don't know how long it's going to last. I hope it's done by the time the taco run is done tomorrow. No, I think tomorrow it's supposed to clear up. Yeah, that's good. That's good. Because I know after like, after like Thursday, it's supposed to be like really good from then on out. Quite open. So good. So bloody good. Brown rice salmon and broccoli today. That sounds like a pretty good that sounds like a pretty good one, June. Right, so You don't like like you don't look like you need to lose an ounce, honey. You're not sticking out in every direction like I am. Somebody in the fucking trash can? I thought I heard somebody rooting around the can out there. Ooh. Yeah, shemay has been a wonderful supporter. I think tomorrow night's going to be very interesting. If our weather's good, we're going to go as far as we can on a taco run and then come back here and cook something up. I did not. I think we'll peel off once we get into the hood here. It was kind of sad because mm -hmm. I forgot about it. Shredded beef tacos, that sounds pretty good. Can we get some thumbs up here tonight, guys? Um, all we've got going on tonight. Yeah, she is adorable, she's sweet. It's like the godmother. Do 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 do. Bringing back the Mexican pizza on April 19th. Those we've never had them before, Gypsy. That sounds interesting, though. Yeah, we're gonna see, Flan, what the weather brings tomorrow. It's probably gonna be a little funky, at least through afternoon. Yeah. Thank you, Golden State. Mr. Z is ready to enlist and get back in there. May 19th. Okay. Well, if you all want to send anything for Mother's Day, we'll certainly celebrate all the wonderful moms out there. That's wonderful. Flower cutouts, all kinds of stuff. Roughly stuff that hangs. Hey, I see Alaska. We're just drinking a couple of beers while we're trying to actually repay that. Ah. Uh, you know, this chili should be just about right. For the most part, you'll. I, I never pay attention to that. Screw it. You'll love it. Delicious. What I want to do is I want to That start is delicious. Hello, Mew Mew Swan. How are you doing? What's going on? Mew Mew Swan. I never had the Mexican. I just can't associate. I don't even know if there's such a thing as Mexican. I don't know. I mean, I've been all over Mexico, right? So I'm not, I'm not sure. Hello, Grand Piano. Originally called the Pizzazz Pizza, my favorite. Really, Mr. Z? Well, you have a high metabolic rate. You can eat anything. I just wish everything I ate went right to my ass. Hey, EJ. Mew Mew Swan, I'm doing good. How you doing? No, I don't remember when McDonald's had pizza. It's probably a disaster, right? You get a corn. Wherever it is you go, what kind of bar, what 
Yeah, I don't remember when McDonald's yeah. ever had pizza. I'm just blocked, right? So. When in the hell was that? Did you ever remember when McDonald's had pizza? No. I don't either. I don't know. It was actually Taco Bell's okay. bringing back some Mexican pizza. I heard. They were talking about it on my chat tonight. They are yeah. talking about it. Everybody's all a flutter. The cheesecake goes to your ass. Yeah, I wish I need a lot more there. I'm doing good, EJ. How you doing tonight? I'm getting ready to have an eating alert for those of you who don't like to watch me eat. I like the crunchy cheese. I love cheese. This old house, brought to you by Sears, Roebuck, and Company, where America shops for batteries. I love the crust. I did not, so my donations have been kind of up in the air. Nice bowl. Um, I have a... Uh, oh, chili. I never remember when the pizza... So D donated... McPizza was discontinued on oh, to get the 11 to 6. Oh, it was out of sync with. Oh, okay. That I makes sense. Money, I don't want else to get money. So I haven't figured out these that have to go. High Peak Carver. The Wellington was extremely. I'm not allowed to say that word, Doug. You can, I can't. <laughs> bon appetit, Gypsy. Probably better just to use. You can say that, I can't. McDonald's pizza is available at only location in Orlando, Florida. Wow! Why would they even keep it there? Never even heard of it, P. Car, but I've never been a fast food person. You hear that, Simon? Never heard of it. I don't know. Mr. Z and I, we ain't eating in, eating any damn casino. Oh, it's a novelty item at the world's business. So the world's biggest McDonald's is in Orlando. Is that right, Shane? I mean, if I'm reading between the lines, that's what you're telling me? Yeah, I just seen it, and then I just, when I was working, I couldn't really pay attention. Don't care, dog. No, but I did, I did go to the camera store the other day, and I dropped off a couple That's of the stuff. world's biggest... McDonald's, huh? You know, it takes two to three weeks. This is black and white. I'd like to take some, some film to like CVS or something. But I did ask about a camera. Because I like cameras. So you can get a bottom line bread for around 500 Pizza $50. del Perro Negro. They have a $50. chili $50. relleno $50. pizza that looks delicious. I don't know. Well, wow, three stories, 19,000 square feet. Holy hell. Hey, Justy, how are you? 19,000 square feet. The rent, my house is 1,000 square feet. 19 of them. Really? Hold on, put whipped cream on it. How'd you like that cheesecake last night, Bird? Huh? Yeah, it was good. <laughs> Did you have strawberry or did you have blueberry? Uh, strawberry. Okay. I had the blueberry. I'm a blueberry nut. Damn funny. I left her. Holy hell, man! I'm stuffed up. Stuffed up. Hey, Reggie. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right? Big ass piece of cheesecake and straw whipped cream yeah. and damn sight blueberries on it. Strawberry on top. Prom tree lighted some beach balls. Yeah, P. Carver with a little hot tub over here. All right, D. Glad to hear it. I am. Baked mac and cheese. You know, I've never been a fan of mac and cheese. I never find the cheese is sharp enough for me. I always find it like kind of insipid, to, like Velveeta or something. I'm just, I'm not into, I can't do it. I just can't eat. I need something that's got some real stones to it, some real balls to it when I have that. Blanket on the Ground by Billy Joe Spears. Oh, I love blueberries. Uh, blueberries are unctuous. Unctuous. Love them. Mr. Z likes grilled cheese. Oh, thank you, Luminous. I really didn't do anything tonight. All right, it's raining. You're getting rained on, Blackbird. Uh, could you remember Big Pig? Could you? Uh, wow. KFC tonight here. Two workers working a busy Colorado relocation. I really feel for the business. Yeah, I, I don't know how they do it. You like to keep your teeth brighter? Yes. Nice. Boysenberry. I didn't even know what the hell a boysenberry was. Can you hear the rain? Whole Alaska salmon every month for a couple of years and she gave me a sandwich. Nice. When I worked at the motel. Mr. Z needs a trip to Lee's Liquors. Raining here in Miami, huh? Miami Beach. Da da do do. Oh, you hear the rain, Justin? Justy, I mean. Yeah, wasn't it nice, sassy? You really beautiful night. It was really amazing. Yes, it's raining in California. No, I don't need anything from leaves. You know what, Mr. Z? We're strictly beer, baby. Yeah, the rain is here. All we need is a good beer. Lee's Liquors, the legend. Hey Darla, how are ya? Yeah, room service. Yeah, why would you offer something that's just gonna be a disaster for people, right? But they still do DoorDash. Yeah, I mean a good Good beer, good Michelob Ultra, good Sapporo for you. 
Good stuff. Yeah, lovely gift. So wonderful. Gonna make it cool. Uber Eats. Sounds like Cheryl's a hockey fan. Ended up ordering a pizza, huh? Listen, hear that? Come on, Mr. Z, fold out these Canadians. Nice, icy. Listen to that. Let me pull this chair. It must be rain. <sighs> yeah, it's coming down. It sounds worse than it is. Yeah, fix my front lawn up. That front lawn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, listen to that. <laughs> Shoot me. <laughs> I'm high and dry in Kitchen Stadium. It is raining, I see. But nothing brings down Kitchen Stadium anymore. Wow, Golden State, really? Yeah, it's it's getting there sassy. There's thousands of little very small blades of grass there. April showers. Come on, Cheryl. Lacrosse is a Maryland thing. Loyola, Johns Hopkins. I hate the rain. Yeah, remember what happened in Titanic. Come on guys, curling is like shuffleboard. Invented in Canada, by the way. Listen to Cheryl. Oh. oh. Well, they don't play it like they do in Maryland and up and down. New York, Pennsylvania, Maryland, North Carolina, Virginia. 
Wow, the growers out here in Idaho lost their crop. Ed, what were they growing? They still got time to do a replant, right? They still got time to do a replant? I can imagine Wayne Gretzky in minor league hockey. Curling is ice bowling. I don't, I don't know, Shimei. I don't know. Potatoes. Oh, okay. Well, they got time to put down another one, right? I know the corn today hit an all-time high. $8.08 a bushel. Can you imagine? He's looking good for his age. Thank you. You love the sound of rain, Angus kisses, yes. Shame for the uh, farmers out there. I mean, I never understood. I don't understand the rules of it. I don't know. We had sweet white, sweet white corn. Was that from Brentwood, Golden State? That's where the good Brentwood corn comes from. Oh, I love that. Sweeping with a broom, yes. I mean, I don't get it. I know the Americans won the gold medal, like, and that really pissed the Canadians off. Like in 2016, 18 or something, 2020. Need corn for my cats or well, it's expensive as hell. It's expensive as hell now. Eight dollars and eight cents a bushel. Cream corn off car. Bond same as Safeway, okay. Brad Gushu. Gushu. I could be pretty good at the curling ball. Or maybe a sweeper's where the which one's the most glory? The sweeper or the uh, the guy that sends it down the ice? I'm sure I'll be like, well it's a team sport. They're both very important. 59 cents a piece. Eh, that's not the worst. I like three for a dollar. I don't know anything about it. the rock. What the hell? It's called a rock. What? It's almost like savage, huh? Like a rock. Ooh, curling takes a lot of strategy. Do you understand that, Mr. Z? Are you buying into this crap? Please don't tell me you're buying into this. Long gone or 12 years? Well, I know you're not going to get 12. It's a big pool game on ice. I just like to not... Yeah, I think you can do curling on Gleis, Chimay. Why the hell not? Right? It's a fruit, like tomatoes. I watched a bit of Olympic hurling. Not me. If they're not jumping off a ski lift risking death on a luge or friggin' four-person bobsled to get your head cut off, I'm not into it. God, look at Cheryl. She's just like rubbing it in. Look at it, 42. Zero compassion. Like, really? Bring me the 
extremely waiting for the third period. We both need to, I don't even know who in the hell is playing. I just know Cheryl S. you ought to be ashamed of yourself. Where's that Canadian class? <laughs> Our teams are playing separate teams. Well, tell me how the Golden Knights did. Yeah, the Warriors are kick ass. Mr. Z, we don't call it Mr. Z, we're in the U.S. Mr. Z, Vegas Golden Knights, and the Canucks need Dallas Stars to lose. We have a common enemy tonight. Oh, how sweet. Then you'll be at each other's throats, right? It must. I'm more interested in who the Giants are playing. Mr. Zed, are you kidding me? What the hell is that? I'm not. It's it's Zed, and you can uck like puck. What the hell is that? Is that an insult? Be careful, Cheryl, as you're skating on thin ice with fat shoes. Go Packers. <laughs> Canuck like Puck. Australia. I don't care about no Z for Z. Get with the times. It's Z. Like Mr. Z. We don't say Mr. Z. He would kick my ass. Hey, Mr. Z, how you doing? What? What'd you say, moron? I said, uh, Mr. Z, uh, really? No, I don't think so, Cheryl. C-H-E-C-K. It's more, it's more efficient. So Tommy Lasorda died. Poor bastard. It must be rain and Mr. Z, yes. Yeah, it sounds like you're a spy. I gotta teach these Canadians proper pronunciation for things. Like they're stuck in the dark ages. All right, let me wash this pot real quick. I don't like to leave a mess. Delicious dinner. Oh yes, it was.
Mr. Z said, the enemy of my enemy is my friend. Right. Good evening, Lee. How are you? Flush it out with a little bit of water here. Ooh. Bouncing in the summer, palm trees, beach bowls, do 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 do. I'm not sure if Lon they're talking about Mother's Day or the beach motif. Yeah, you hear a little bit of rain, Lee. Hopefully tomorrow night we'll be able to go on a taco run. I don't know what we'll have for dinner tomorrow night. I don't know. I think we'll just have a big salad with some tomatoes. I'm glad, Lee. My mom comes home to find me wear motocross helmet gloves while playing. Oh, well, that's okay. That's all right, Ed. Nothing wrong with that. You like to dress for the theme. Do, 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 do. Falling asleep. Thank you, Derek. Thank you, my lovely friend in Erie. Arlen, the Lucky the Irish, the Royal Hibernian, the Ancient Order. Thank you, Derek. Ah. Love Derek. Love Derek. From one Irish to another. Yes. The weather's bad for riding. We've had Mr. Z tonight. What a friggin' honor tonight to have Mr. Z in here. I've been kind of bugging him. I've been sending him TikToks and shit. And, uh, you know, cut the shit. Right. Like, really, Rosie? Really? We're going to go there? All the time. Yes, we are. Do, 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 do. Do, do, do. I guess we are. Thank you, Derek. Have a wonderful one. Say hi to all my family down in Galway Bay. 80, oh, that sounds so good. 85 in Arizona. Yeah, I've been thinking about Mr. Z a lot. I, who doesn't crush on Mr. Z? I need to get Mr. Z in the flow. I need, we need Mr. Z in, 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 in uh, the prison industrial complex. Yeah, it's an honor when you have Mr. Z and Monkey Boy, exactly, and Bobby, yes. But I like Mr. Z, I come in on a, you know, I come in like a Thursday and go out on a Monday. We have a chance to, to try to figure out what the hell we do for breakfast, and we get all pissed off. Right. But we did find... Eat. That was good. Yeah, Vicky, calm your calm your loins, honey. Calm your loins. I want Mr. Z. Look at this stuff. Down, girl. Calm your loins down. All thumbed up. Yeah, we're getting close. We should be near 170. If you haven't hit that thumbs up, please pay, take a moment to please do so. It's very appreciated. <laughs> yeah, look at Mr. Z. Mr. Z, don't get a big head, okay? <laughs> we need Mr. Z up at the rancho again. And we need, we're not going to hit the hard shit anymore. Knock it off, Vicky, before I put you in time, man. Uh, there's only so much Mr. Z to go around. All right. Let's get it on. Do, 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 do. Yeah, I got a small peanut head. <laughs> Ah, uh, we got to do some old school chooching. And last time I was down with Mr. Z, you know I was doing keto down there. I had the bacon. And I'm sitting across the table. He's having those wonderful pancakes. And I'm like, yeah, this is the best thing ever, Rosie. 
right? Like, yeah, 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 and I'm still on it, right? <laughs> Got to get ready for, uh, for June, July. Right, when nobody's in Vegas, then we get an easy time to go to the pools and hang out. La da 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 da. Only reason I'm drinking water is because the beer is not cool. Good night, Elmer. Thank you. Have a good day, Elmer. Take care. Oh, I'm not going to be doing that drinking again. No, no, Ed. Next time up here, it's just strictly, we might have one shot and just limit it. But we're going to have beer, 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 beer. I'm not going down that road again. Yeah, don't go and injure yourself. Exactly. That was no fun for Mr. Z. Hear me. No! E. Oh, I'm still in a recliner. And Mr. Z's like, that's perfect. You can stay in my place and just be in the recliner. Yes. <laughs> don't even have to make the sheets, right? It's just like, just give me a blanket for the recliner. <clears throat> yeah, you get paid for three days by being my official caregiver. Oh, I love you, Mr. Z. You are wunderbar. But we'll be doing some stuff. Yeah, and Sinister C said putting your heels on. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> you remember all that, Ed. Well, you couldn't ask for a better friend. I mean, right? We had a hell of a we had a hell of a good time anyway. Christmas, New Year's Eve, opening stuff. It was pretty amazing. I want Mr. Z to make that a regular tradition. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> you did have to help me get my pants on one day. Yes, waters I drink a ton of it every day. I did have to have Mr. Z help me get my drawers on. <laughs> like you gotta help me get my pants on. It's like no problem. <laughs> yeah. It's like well I worked in the medical field. <laughs> I've seen it all. Uh Pretty darn good. Yes, water flushes out your system. And uh, now I'm increasing my exercise for uh, mid-April through the end of May. Yeah, and into June. Because there's no point. Because the uh, pools in Vegas don't even warm up to warm up till June. I've seen some stuff in. Ah, <laughs> oh, shit! I love it. I love it. Ah. <laughs> so we're strictly beer. Putting a new Minotaur is uh, trending. 60 million views. I don't know. I'm so sick of superhero movies. Screw that. Screw that. I just burned out on superhero stuff. Looks very neat. Yeah, it does, isn't it, Cherry? I think um, Mother's Day, or we're going to start doing a summer theme here. But I suggest we wait till after Memorial Day to bring that in. I don't want palm trees. I I got I don't have any room to store stuff, Sherry. So whatever it is has to be able to fold down very small and be stored away. Oh, I just have no room to store shit around here. Yeah, I'm not into superhero. 
Yeah, it's pretty light looking at here. Yeah, we do one or but we limit ourselves. You know, we like to toast on, have one or two shots, and that's it. I'm not gonna kill a whole friggin' bottle. No way. No friggin' way. Bird and I will have a shot of scotch. We'll have maybe two, but no way I go beyond that. No. 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 Listen to that rain. That's it. Yeah, I don't know, Sherry. I went to the emergency room a couple months ago and June and saw one or two was yelling at her and asked her what she was like my Willie. What? She was saying her bird hurt? Yeah, livers get old. That's it, morning dog. I don't need any more. You know, I just didn't get the maximum enjoyment out of Mr. Z's visit. He got to stay in the main rancho house. I was just kicked in the balls by my neighbor's kid. Wow. Hey, Robin. Yeah, one or two shots never happens. Well, that's all I'm going to do. That's it. I mean, we we both woke up like, what the fuck? Right. Must be rainy. Do, do, do. Ah. Yeah, it's good to drink a lot of water. So hopefully, guys, tomorrow night... Um, we're going to be on that taco run tomorrow. That's going to take a lot. Yeah, plus a great story to boot. Yeah. Going to be on the taco trail weather permitting. So I'm going to go ahead and close it out tonight. It's been four hours of a great, great, great stream. Uh, so we're going to see a lot of color, a lot of pageantry tomorrow. It's going to be great. Would you travel to Thailand uh, yes, I would. No problem with Thailand. Yeah, all things in moderation. So to my wonderful, glorious moderators, thank you so much for everything that you do. Putting it the recliner first. Yes, that's it. Thank you for everything you do. And for everybody else, it's great to see you. Mr. Z, thank you for spending some time with us tonight. And uh, I will see you guys tomorrow. I probably will not have a morning chooch tomorrow. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. I've got a big doctor appointment tomorrow and then skedaddle off to work. So thank you, Cheryl and Shimei and Jen Jen was here. Appreciate everything that you guys do. And have a wonderful, wonderful night. And I will see you on the morrow. Rain.